straight to the Kismet Bridge. How dare you? <laughs> oh, it needs to be kicked. Didn't it? No, it's not. Why aren't you doing that? Come back. There it is. Try that again. Okay, there it goes. So, uh, Lieutenant Commander Varder, you are aboard the Kismet on your way to uh, rendezvous, or rather catch up to uh, the runabout. Your fleet captain is aboard, the name of which is, I had it written down, and I lost it. The elusive, clearly. The Mer... The Mer... The Mer... The Mer... The Mer... The Mer... Odd name. Is that is that Bolian? That is Latin. It is one of the seas of the uh, moon of Luna. <laughs> uh, so you're catching up, and you guys are you aren't flooring it. You're just even at casual cruising speed, you're going to catch up to them. They don't. They're not going nearly that fast. Yeah. Uh, and that's not like there's an emergency. So it's just, eh, we'll catch up to. You'll get to them before you get to Starbase Ages. Yeah. Got it. It's a secure space, guys. Come on. Yeah, it, and heavily patrolled because of your uh, ship, because of the mercenaries you've had, you have the fighters you've had flying back and forth with the mm -hmm. freighters. So, um, but yeah, um, is you are made apprised of the events uh, that happened on another game, um, the DSC. I believe you were present for that particular crossover event on yeah. the Gungnir. Yeah. So you're aware of that, uh, as uh, Commander uh, Wright has forwarded that particular uh, pain in the neck to you, going, here's what's going on, just so you know, it's the intelligence officer, here's what we're trying to do, we'll <laughs> get back to you if the situation escalates. Yeah. Uh, in other news, you're also uh, updated on the fact that uh, the Klingon leader, uh, Oda Joseph Kitta, has been treated by this point and has ret returned back to his ship. Uh, the Sukitta so ships are still in the area. Um, they usually keep at least one ship uncloaked, but the rest stay cloaked for the most part. Uh, but they coordinate with her to let her know where they are in case they're attacked. She doesn't think that's going to happen. There's been no activity on the uh, Pejo border since the uh, since the uh, dusk machine was felled. So she's fairly relaxed. Uh, midnight wise, midnight watch wise, there's nothing for her to report there. Nothing new has really come up. Um, other than the fact that it appears that uh, Oda has a Kashoan crystal. Uh, where his heart should be. And the Watch is not entirely sure how he managed that because last the Watch heard, uh, they had all vanished to another realm of existence um, for their own protection. So the fact that any of them is still here is very strange. Um, she hasn't had a chance to question Oda about it. Um, and she decided not to probe that particular wound because, well, she has other things to worry about that her Starfleet duties attend to. So I was definitely there for that one too. Yeah. So, so, oh yeah, you were present for that, yeah. So. Yeah, I, I helped him put that in his chest. I, I crit succeeded helping him put that in his chest. Uh, is there anything you would like to do to address those matters on a squadron level as an intelligence officer? As an intelligence officer. Well... Let's see what strings I can pull for the station security, because that's the most pressing one there. And that's the as an intelligence officer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whenever he's presented with an issue, he's, the first thing he asks is, what strings can I pull? I'm not there in person. What am I going to do? Fire myself at a tw out of a torpedo hull towards DSE to fix it personally? Yes. Oh, turn the ship around. <laughs> Yeah, that would look good for the Admiralty. Why your <laughs> flagship turn around and leave the captain? Well, you know, there, there's an unexplained situation on DSC that might I mean, be uh, bad. Have you met him? <laughs> have you met him? But what strings can I pull is also, I still am the chief security officer as well as chief intelligence officer, so I... Yeah. 
can remote control things to an extent. By that I just mean issue instruction. Which it's a full... It probably honestly just gets booted to pend as a tech problem as well as a security problem which needs a officer there to coordinate things more in person. Does that make sense to you, Pend? Yeah, it's making sense, apart from the fact that Pend's not going to be there. Well, yeah, he's currently there, right? No. No? Okay, never mind. Hell, uh... Who do I have? Oh, oh right, he's maintaining the neutrality yeah, yeah. of the desk machine. I he's remember that. Yeah. yeah, so... Uh, I have so many Maybe favorites. Myth? Is Myth there? Myth, myth can uh, be myth, coming back. Myth is currently still on exploratory uh, mission uh, Rimward. Okay. She's well, about I, 10 light years out. I do have oh, sorry, 30 light years well, out. Well, I mean, I, I could be back. You could be back fairly quickly. quickly. Yeah. Yep. You could recall the uh, request to recall of the uh, Maxwell plane. Yeah. I've got two favors right and two, three favors with Thralic, though, which is. Yeah, that's probably fine. The NPC... Thralic's on the station still, right? As the head hoplite? Question mark. I think she's kind, of, she's kind of floating without permanent like assignment, but yeah. she could be on the station. She's not anywhere She's on else. the station, great. So we can throw some favors from her and Wright to start looking into that with everything they've got. Uh, the preliminary, uh, since you're using favors, no role is required. Uh, you are informed in the preliminary stages of their investigation that um, they. it appears that the, uh, the rewrite was basically hardware fused into the firmware. So basically it was in the uh, isolinear chips and such of the station, which they find extremely weird because there's no... That would require the Orion pirates who built the thing to put that in there with the express knowledge of knowing a particular type of video footage and sensor data was going to come up at a certain time. Like this thing was down to the millis nanosecond. It was precise, which uh, belies our Orion pirates because they are not that precise nor that subtle. The syndicate can be subtle, but they're subtle like a knife, not subtle like... Uh, tech splicing and stuff like that. That requires someone with an incredible level of uh, technical skill. Um, and the only reason they know anything's wrong at all is because of the deletion, because the footage is gone. Um, so there was no way to know about it ahead of time, which also suggests either skill that's above and beyond any Starfleet security officer uh, that's ever been trained or advanced technology. And they believe the second one's more likely just because it's too many security people have come by. It, this has been an intelligence hub for the squad and for so long. A lot of skilled eyes came by. So the only way to make up that difference would be technical superiority. Okay. But they're not sure what tech it is because it doesn't match up with Romulan style. It's not Federation style. Um, so there's, there, that's the next step is figuring out what what species is this or what is this even an alpha beta quadrant thing is this a gamma or delta quadrant thing so they're looking through voyager logs and gamma quadrant trader logs it's they're up to their necks in it okay but we so. don't have at least an example of the tech so that gives something to sweep through the rest of the station for yeah which yeah that's what she's doing now she's li like literally it gets people crawling around in jeffrey's tubes hand like hand scanning and looking for bits that don't fit. Fortunately, uh, we can't exactly ask the original people why they did this, if they <gasps> even know, because it doesn't seem like them, which is uh, weird. Although then again, Sarissa was there and she could have told Wright a lot of things because the Ganymede, was that the Ganymede? Gunger. 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 Um, they said a lot of things in front of Sarissa, who's very, very good at listening. <laughs> I'll uh, be sure to send me a summary of that for later. I'll, I'll look through that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Which is probably stuff that can't be said over open, because, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Wright might know, but that, that'd be a... And, if, and oh, have, this... Yeah, but, um, so, wait. This, this thing knew that a... So, 
what did this program know to do? Basically, uh, some – yeah, there was some footage that was recorded of an incident, and that incident just – it's just not there. Just yeah, It auto-erased on its own. But it wasn't so, a software thing; it was a hardware thing. Like there's a bit, there's a chip that basically said, "Okay, a certain thing happened." Erasing. It's like, how the hell would we? Yeah. That had to be built in. <laughs> and that uh, uh, was specifically. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, I I, I think know I know what I think I I think I got it. Hmm. You do. So. This is someone who either knows, um, this, this is someone who either has such an incredible, t- uh, under- this means that it's someone who either understands the technology really well, or what I think is more likely, is Greta super robotic order yeah, of robotic. events very well. Oh. Uh, hold on a sec. I mean, and Grenin's just literally given the description that Corbidian's just given. Back? Uh, no. Didn't hear anything. Just heard a no- uh, brief can noise. Can you hear me now? Yep. Five by five. Nope. Nothing. Uh, can hear you? God damn it. Hello? Huh? You can hear me? Hello? Wait, I, I can hear Corbinian. I can hear um, <sighs> Brennan, actually. Yeah, we can yeah. hear Brennan, he just can't hear us. Ah. I can hear you. I, you I can hear, hear you. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good. So, so what was your master plan there? I, well, not a master plan, but I think, I think I'll put it something together. Yeah, sure. You can put something like that in when the thing is built. That means you either, uh, that means that you either have a, you already know when you put the thing in, that this is going to happen sometime down the line, or you're from somewhere that knows that this is going to happen already, because it has happened. Okay. Yeah, I think we've already established that one. I think we're dealing with time travelers. Yes, that bit we know. We, we've 100% Just... established that one. <laughs> We, we know that, but as far as the characters, it's like, ah, we've got to solve this more traditionally than just yeet through time! <laughs> yeet. Like, that, like, that's a speculation that could, that bears out the evidence, but you need, or rather that the evidence might suggest, but you need evidence that actually points to it. Because there's no, there's no quantum shift. Like, yeah. it seems to be parts that are of the time period. So it looks like it was just built in for some reason. But that could yeah. either be subterfuge, uh, could be time travel, that is possible. Um, but if it is, it's rather skilled time travel, because lazy time travel is taking something high-tech and shoving it in somewhere, and having it, like, obviously seem chronologically too old. Like, it's at the wrong time period. It's like, you would notice that it's out of time. You'd have to yeah. build something back then, when it was built, so it matched up with the rest of the ship. Yeah. That's what they're trying to find out because they don't know. They don't even know who made it because it's not Orion. It's not Federation. It's like uh, that's our next step. <laughs> that all said, though, uh, security officer says, Commander Varder, uh, we have the Marinubium on sensors. Would you like me to hail them? Uh, please do. Putting on screen. Fleet Captain, we're coming up behind you now. Wait, they're coming up behind me? Yeah, the Kismet's uh, it's catching up to you. They're at the edge of your sensor range. They just hailed you. You've been at that. You've been out for like a couple days. 
Uh, yeah, I've been out for like an hour. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> it's quick. Yes. Uh, I, and I've just been en route to Starbase, right? Yep. Varder. You sound very surprised, sir. Well, I was still en route to Starbase. Yes, the plan was for me to meet you en route. Yeah, we discussed this last week. Yep. Okay. I'm, in the I'm event being that a something dumb came up forgetting and things. The catch here, then you would be on the way anyway. So. Well, te uh. Technically, I finished listening to last week just just a few minutes ago, and you said you'd arrive at about the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Very good. I assume there's uh, adequate shuttle bay room for me to uh, for me to land. The screen goes dark. You've lost Yay. connection. Oh. Uh, oh. Give me a sensor reading on that, please. Reason I don't know what just happened. Science. Difficulty of two. Assisted uh, by sensors plus science. I think I got promoted. One. I think I got promoted. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Alright, uh, I'll take no. this here. Yep, I think you are getting a kill. Given, you know, the other kismet scientist just blew up. Yeah. Uh. Yay! Cool. Cool. Hasn't this happened with Varder and Grenon wow. before? Yes. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> pretty sure it's on happened the call before. And he just disappears. He's like, oh. <laughs> Checking to see if I have must, anything here. Must be Tuesday. Alright. Um. At least it's not a manic Monday. Ah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, observation as a focus here? Sure. Alright. Uh, for reason security. Uh, how do I keep and... messing up opening the kiss cheek? There we go. I got it right this time. I have rolled the D2 of wisdom. <laughs> okay, D2 now of wisdom. Sensors, science to assist. And we have advanced sensor suite, so that was a different one. Mm -hmm. So we've got two momentum. If you want to, uh, I also I've got a reroll here because of technical expertise. Oh yes, because it's true. assisted by the ship sensors. Uh, no, technical expertise only works for the ship. It Ugh. says which may be the ship's die. Yeah, no, that, that yep, whatever that's task. Anything. Whenever as you long attempt as a task it... assisted by the yeah. ship's computer sensor, you may reroll one d twenty, which may be the ship's die. Okay. Yeah. I, like I a... copy pasted the entire uh, talent into her sheet because I can't be remember these things. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just thought it was for the ship. Yeah. I think it's what it's most often used oh, for, well. for sure. Free momentum, then let's go. Yeah. Oh no, I'm thinking about neural interface. Yeah, yeah. that's what Lux has, right? Yeah. 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 You've got to be plugged in for that too. Isn't that one just by the int anything assisting by the ship, though? Results are assist. on your console. Alright. Commander, I'm reading the uh, wreckage of a runabout as well as a subspace tier near the last known location. There okay. is a warp trail ending at the tear as well. Oh, we all know what that looks like. Uh, Khan, drop us off, uh, drop us out of warp medium range from the wreck. Keep up scans, see if you can against all hope. See if you can pick up any sort of life signs. Maybe there was a suit. I don't know. None of us know anything right now. So don't assume anything either. 
Yes, sir. Drop out of warp. Bring us to yellow, just in case. Yellow alert eye. Shields up. Shields up. Uh, I guess that would be what? The meth? Uh, for our security at the moment? Uh, I mean, I, Cecil can still oh. make a reason medicine roll. She's got a medicine at three. Okay. Yeah, if she wants to, if you want to do that with Cecil, then go ahead, roll by all yeah. means. She's got a, an 11 She's in the reason, too, so. That makes sense. Yeah. Seems like Who is strong. the security person that's reasonably on the bridge? Well, crews are. <laughs> um. Uh, oh, yeah, difficulty yeah, yeah. two because of sensor. Yeah. Yep. Uh, would observation still work for focus here? Yes. All right. You are observing the life signs. <laughs> I. Yep. That's the idea. Uh, spend one momentum. Had to had to think there for a minute. <laughs> 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 Math. Names. Right. Nouns are hard. Characters. We just activate the EMH outside the ship to look personally. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it works. Even when the Kismet doesn't technically roll a success, it's already helped you by one. Yeah. I'm detecting no life signs, sir. So. Alright. Uh, well, it wouldn't be the first time we've had to declare Captain Fleet Captain Harmon Brennan dead. Nope. Uh, see if you can instead locate any remains. And Balish Anna, see if you can arrange engineering parties in shuttlecraft or runabouts to salvage. Well, salvage also collect evidence. I'd very much like to know what's going on here in detail. I think salvaging's an engineering job, right? End of scene. As you begin arranging for the salvage operation of what is left of the runabout. It's probably a, oh, I've given the instructions, great, now what's my next job? I have to call Pend. <laughs> mm. <laughs> probably Pend and Wright and being like, so, the captain's dead again? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take, uh, I'll take Kino for this one, I guess. Elko, Garal, yeah. I'll be Asala. Asala is your sister, so that makes sense. Fitness plus con, difficulty of one to keep your feet. Ah, um, me? Uh, everyone, I think. Assisted by the shuttle, the runabout structure plus con. As you are come, to, you are brought to such a sudden halt. You go from warp to nothing, and the inertial dampers only help so much. Uh, it might be best if Asala goes first because she's got a decent con score. Yeah, Four. go ahead. I've got a ten. Well, she's only got a twelve because it's an eight in fitness, but I have an eleven. Um, One of oh, all has a fitness. What was it again? Fitness con. Uh, ten. Yeah, yeah Sal's got twelve. So I'm spending the momentum for the reroll. Would you rather the focus of anatomy? Ana anatomy. Uh, not really. No, you're. Uh, I'll take it a complication. Actually, I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. Taking a bit of a blunder by not lending on anything too important. <laughs> I'm, I'm just making a list that's going to be edited as we go in the Kismet chat because this seems like a smart choice for once. Yeah, yeah. I generally just have like the sheets open. Yeah, I think I was thinking about that, and I was like, "Wow, that's going to get crowded fast." Yeah, no shit. I have them open, but like minimize usually. Yeah, just kind of in a bar, still gets but it still gets crowded. So, so a solid kind of break. I'm rocking races. I'm I'm rocking a, I'm rocking an eleven. Oh, uh, for uh, sh uh Asala's roll, uh, roll structure plus con. The runabout might help you. 
Okay, uh, which is unlikely. Runabout but hey. sheet is this? Is this runabout uh, to electric boogaloo? Yeah. <laughs> I love <God>. this name. <laughs> uh, is that why you didn't name it that? So, so was it a computer's con or engines? Structure. <laughs> Shit helped. Shit helped. Amazing. Legend. Right. Okay, who's next? Uh, I'll go next. Um, uh, Tina's got a decent fitness. I just don't think it's a good con. She cool. doesn't have a decent fitness, actually. She, She's oh. got a fitness of eight. Uh, oh. Oh, got a fantastic control. Decent daring. Uh, focus of close quarters combat here, knowing how to maintain like balance and and weight distribution, and such. I uh, give. Uh, I will take that and increase complication. All right. It's only a two, but you know everything helps. Mm -hmm. What module did you all put into this uh, runabout? Uh, uh oh, I only rolled one. Rolling the second one. Uh, I don't know. What the shit? I rolled very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. I mean, wouldn't it be long, long duration? Wow. What, for Probably a long duration, duration just for comfort's sake. Yeah, I think that yeah. makes sense. Uh, are we doing uh, the no, runabout roll? I think. Let's say, are we doing a runabout roll for... Uh, I think it's Kino. for everyone, isn't it? Yeah, the uh, runabout. You roll yeah, per person. Cool. Yep. Runabout to electric boogaloo. Oh, either way, it wasn't. didn't matter. I think we we did get the exact same roll. Look at that. It was meant to be. Um, it was meant to be a fifteen. Yeah. Uh, well. Yeah, sure. Let's go, Garal. Um, uh, focus and discipline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just hearing your sigh was worth it. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. And she's not really cooperating with anyone, I don't think, is she? So, no focus doesn't really matter too much. I just lost the sheet. I'm prepared. Oh, yeah, no, she's gonna not... Okay, uh, we'll give you a momentum. That is not actually a crit. I forgot to click the button. Nope. But she passed. It's just you, Granin. And we've got lots mm -hmm. of momentum. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna spend one. If Granin's for some reason the only one to fail this. It makes sense, though. Oh no! no! <laughs> he hurts see, his see, shoulder. See, we say these things. We say these things. You're supposed to not just play into them. He, he damages his shoulder. Yeah, no, the runabout can't even help. There's not a single hit. Can I just say that first was a 19 as well? You're supposed to prove us wrong, not prove us right. <laughs> Hang on, I just need to. First roll determination. I don't spin. know Let's if go. I have. I don't think I have a value that'll help. <laughs> you don't have oh fuck my shoulder. <laughs> you really should by now. Uh, I do not believe you have one. Oh, that sucks. Now that you can't report to the Admiralty if you're dead, mission directive. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's not gonna die from falling over. Hopefully. <laughs> No, but it had to be said. It was funny. <laughs> wow. I'd, I'd say take it like a champ, but you're really not. Uh, Grinnan was gesturing and somewhat off balance as he was talking, and then when all of a sudden you hit it, he just happened to be at the perfect imbalance moment to be flung, and he ha he has no chance to kind of get his hands out to grab or brace for anything. So he goes flying forward and... Bam! Cracks his head against the uh, console. You are looking at a lethal Ooh. injury. Oh, shit. Would you like to spend to not avoid the injury? I gotta give you two threat. 
We, Why? We've we got have two momentum. We have momentum. Or, oh, I'm sorry. Is it is it two momentum? Two momentum or two threat or a combination of one and one? Uh, two momentum then. Okay. You crack your head and whew, you, bear, you almost pass out because that hurt a lot. But uh, you're awake. <laughs> Oh god, oh that's gonna be a that's probably gonna be a concussion. Oh jeez. Ah. You see a bit of blood trailing away from the from his scalp. Oh. As everyone else kind of braced well, themselves at the at the right moment. Your ship has a complete stop. Yeah. yeah. Brennan puts the hand to his forehead to to nurse it, pulls his hand away, it's quite caked in blood. Hey, medical officer. We don't have a medical officer. I'm a scientist. Do you also have medicine? Yeah. Does anyone have medicine? I or am have I just... some medicine. <laughs> I I can die. I can direct, Dresta. Well, you can. <laughs> I'm the one directing. But I ow. do have. Well, I don't have a focus in medicine. But I can unless, assist you. You know, you count information extraction as medicine. In fact, no, I'm not going to the front. You come here. There's more room in the back. I'm not just going to crowd the front. Yeah, yeah, Ugh. and he makes his way, you know, nursing the wound on his head this the whole way. Assisting and a superior. Lays down to, on his bunk. Ugh. I guess reason or insight in medicine. You will need to spend one momentum to retrieve a medical kit. Time is somewhat of the essence here. Yeah. I, I suppose I can't just eyeball it. I would not advise that. I mean, it's only his face. Uh, you cr actually with the, uh, well, no, it's a lethal injury, so you you have to check to make sure he didn't crack his head or anything. Like he, yeah. he could be dying right in front of you for all you know. Well, good thing uh, I'm disciplined. I can I can halt that. Uh, the first role is to determine the level of injury. You're looking at me reason, medicine, difficulty of two. As you scan his head, see how badly he's hurt. Um, is the shuttle? able to assist. Uh, computers plus medicine. Yay. Um, you said computers, so a focus in computer systems? Yes, as you're, you know what to look up and you're asking the runabout to kind of help you along with the uh, treatment. Dip 2, okay. Um, you know what I'm really amazing at as Garal? Assisting people. You know what I'm not doing right now? Assisting people. Hey. Assisting people. <laughs> Do you want an assist? Uh, you know, if only it worked both ways, but it doesn't. Oh no, um, uh, has got the advisor talent. Oh. You know, I'm not a so, doctor. <laughs> so Asala leaves So Asala leaves the controls? Oh no, she can just... Um, no, you, she cannot. Tell Garal where to look in the system for certain files. She will not be able to. She has. To, she. She would be too. She'll either be back there, or she's too distracted to be of any help in the cockpit. I'm fine. Probably. We'll find out. Um. Have a momentum. Yeah. Yeah. It, I know it says runabout too. Don't worry about that. <laughs> the runabout doesn't have that great stats. I'm sure. I'd be concerned if it did. Also, the runabout doesn't have a reason score. How do you know? Fair point. <laughs> Myth has a reason score. I'm not a runabout. <laughs> Could be. No. She's just a highly complex runabout. With legs. Precisely, she runs about the ship. <laughs> uh, we're being sent to Starfleet since we do any training. <laughs> No, oh, well, yes, he does have a cracked skull. And it Ooh. does need to be treated. Preferably now. Which is not something computers can help me with. Unless you as you're working new program right now. So. As you're working on Grenin. Up in the cockpit, what are Kino and Isalo up to? Because you just dropped out of warp for some reason and you don't know why. And you have alarms ringing out from you. Uh, systems diagnostic? Oh, uh, Corbinian, I'm sending you a thing that you might find useful. 
Okay. When it when it eventually goes through. No, I don't want the thirty-six stanzas of Klingon poetry. Why not? <laughs> Is there a problem with Klingon poetry? Yeah, it's Klingon fucking poetry. You know what? Fair enough. Have a good day. Uh, spending a, a momentum at least. Uh, focus in protocols. Ah, uh, yep. There you go. Yeah. Used that for when I ran a murder mystery on a runabout. Hmm. Those are two nat ones. Yep. No, computer, come back. Don't do that. Oops, 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 oops. Ignore that, please. I'm guessing you've just sent that to the wrong person. Also updating the runabout sheet because you've done a diagnostic. Moment, please. No. Well, it seems we've lost a port in a cell and we're leaking plasma. That's why we're at a full stop. How do we just lose in a cell? Isn't that supposed to be attached? Where did it go? Well, once... Oh, it's, it's still there. <laughs> Stupid. You know, when it eventually wants to tell me where it's gone, I'll let you know. No swiper, no swiping? Hmm. <laughs> While well, casually about to open the captain's skull to fix it, you know. Hmm. Oh, alright, then what caused us to lose in the cell? Uh, can I spend to get that answer? Uh, yep. It seems... Waiting for a response. Ah, yes, you're looking at the loading circle from the computer. Infamous. These L-car screens, they just take so long to load anything. <laughs> it seems we hit something at high speed. An impact. Okay. I'm not a means we're probably not that. dealing with a, a hostile force. Let's see if we can start setting out a distress beacon then. Uh, that and maybe sealing up the leak. Right. <sighs> Do we have anyone who knows anything about engineering? Runabout has been updated. Kino's got engineering of three. 
Oh, oh, right, yeah, because she's got a mechanical arm. That's why I did that. Yeah. You could clearly just cannibalize her arm to uh, fix the breach. I feel like she'd prefer not to. <laughs> um, it's just a suspicion. Alright, uh... Uh, well, the engines are disabled, so if we don't fix a leak, we are going to run out of power. Alright, I'll head back and get on that. That sounds like something that requires an EVA suit. Unless you can fix it from inside, in which case, by all means. Yeah, uh, Kino basically strides right by the bed where Grenon's being treated. Uh, you will need an engineering kit to deal with this. That will cost you one momentum. I'll spend for it. You know the best thing is Kino has body armor regardless. Yeah. Personal she's got effects, personal yeah. effects for it, as well as being a hotplate. That she just gets to put two sets of body armor on when she's deployed as a hotplate. <laughs> Better body armor. Just oh no! You see, I would assist you with my amazing assistance abilities, except for the fact that I'm busy performing surgery. Mm-hmm. Um, well... And you're kind of racing the clock, because you know eventually when the power dies, uh, that's going to be a problem. Hmm. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm I would assist mm -hmm. you, but unfortunately, I'm busy in the cockpit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. I do have a focus of field repairs, I think. Is that something? Oh. That, huh. Yeah. No, she, she's ERD <laughs> I mean, that's exactly it, I think. <laughs> GM was yeah, not expecting that. <laughs> she, yeah. she was a combat the engineer. GM wasn't expecting... <laughs> no, no, that, I, I applaud a chief petty officer who knows who uh, who's uh, multi-talented. I, I like yeah. that. And uh, this is also her second best role. So, focus, second best role, but... Diff 5, wow. Yeah, okay. Uh, Repairing yeah, damage. Say, want to take some... Yeah, definitely you know, I'm going to. No matter what happened, I'm the prize fighter. <laughs> beat this shit back into shape. Maybe? <laughs> Percussive um. maintenance. Oh, uh, your complication range also increases by two. You're at comp three. Due to the damage to oh. the structure. Alright. Oh. Um, awesome. Because there are small fires you have to put out. You have to spend time taking out a fire extinguisher putting out fires while you're back there before oh. you even get to work. Is that because structure is halved? Yep, you have at least uh, half your structure you're in damage, which is boring. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna spend uh... <laughs> I'm gonna spend the two momentum and four threat to roll five dice here. That seems appropriate, yeah. Yeah, shuttles aren't designed to take anything. Yep, but if, if the only reason you guys are still have your lights on is because you're a runabout. That's is four. There, is there a shuttle assist to this? No, it's uh, repairing of the ship thing, usually, right? Hmm. Uh, computers plus engineering. Okay. As yeah. you start talking aloud to the computer while it's still on. Nope. Ugh. That was oh. Would mission directive be a thing? To keep alive? Uh, unfortunately, captain. no. Your mission was something else, so... You're of you're of no directive right now. You're kind of I mean, aimless. Yeah. Oh, uh, does the what about security actual... also protect the captain? Because if power dies, he dies. He does not instantly die. He c you can go on emergency reserves. Oh, yeah. hmm. Um, what about the if no matter what happened, I'm the prize fighter? <laughs> you can certainly challenge that. Hmm. But I don't think you could spend toward it. You can succeed at cost. Hmm. Well, we've already got a complication on the board. Yeah, I can't challenge it because I'd have nothing else to spend it to. Yeah. And she's not being used much, so. Yeah. This is. Cold well, we've got a comp on the board, and I've only got four four hits. Four out of five. So. Be close. Very close. So succeed at cost or let it stand. Uh, do I get to know at all what 60 cost costs uh, looks like? Uh, you won't like it. 
mm -hmm. will require this uh, chief petty officer to put their the ship's health over their own. Cool. Activate the shield belt. She doesn't have that kit. <laughs> She's a hot plate. She has armor and a fucking shield belt. Ah, but we went through this. It's in a locker. Oh, she, she does, does however. Her yeah. She does, however, still have body armor. She does have body armor. Because that's a separate. You would just be sitting. That she has. Oh, she has a personal effect. Yep. Yeah, she has personal uh, effects. Okay. Body armor. If it's a personal effect, it's something that she could be just wearing because it's hers. So. Yeah. Yep. Um. I'll succeed at cost. All right. So you, it, Kino finds that she is spending a lot of time putting up this fire and not enough time heal, uh, fixing the engine. And the computer's telling her that if at this rate, the ship's going to run out of power by the time she gets done what she's doing. Like she does the math and it doesn't work out. So she just forgets the fires and just focuses on working. Uh, she's able to repair the uh, engine for now. Uh, unfortunately, she gets badly burned. She is a pyromaniac, so... I'll reroll those whips. Whoops. You what? Let's like, put that on the map layer so that doesn't happen again. Keto is a pyromaniac. So, I guess I being set on fire is not the worst thing for her. Oh, no. Oh, uh, that would have been five, but you have body armor, don't you? Which reduces it by yep. mm -hmm. how much? Two. One. Two. One. Isn't it body armor two? Body armor oh, two. It? Yeah. Body armor two. Right, cool. So you, you, one. you take three stress as the body armor is the only reason you don't, uh, as she kind of jumps away from the system as the automatic, uh, as some of the, as she then grabs the fire extinguisher, starts putting up the fires on herself and then on the engine. That could have been a lot worse. We're no longer losing power. Enough said. New round. Actually, uh, Grinny, you could do something. I would advise you not. You have a crack. You've been told you have a cracked skull. <laughs> you could rally if you so wish. Hmm. Uh, good. Do what? In the. So. Uh, uh, I'll start from the top. So, in that round, you were, uh, everyone had one turn, and everyone did something. Brennan hadn't done anything that round yet, and I was suggesting that you could do something, but I recommended to you not to do to anything requiring movement, because you've just been told you have a cracked skull, and you see Garal is trying to mend it. However, I did point out that you could possibly choose to rally or any other talking uh, uh, activity. Or, how about this? Uh, uh, Garal, just uh, do what you have to do. Just let's get it over with. And he is going to direct her to yep. uh, properly heal him. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to burn my metal that makes this an auto crit. Direct me to sedate you. <laughs> You should you should wait to, to use the metal until you see if you can actually assist. Yes, I could whiff this entirely. Exactly. Some of us have no faith. I have plenty of faith. It's just often misplaced. Um. Do you have faith of the heart? I will. No. We get enough of that out. fucking joke from Arthur. <laughs> How oh. I have faith that you have a cracked skull, and I have enough concussive force to finish this. <laughs> I can finish the job. With the runabout started, I can finish. Control medicine. Uh, control's good. Okay. Okay, this is still a 13. Um... <laughs> a focus on the bar. <laughs> Laboratory techniques. Sorry, I heard mostly laughter. A focus on laboratory techniques. Uh, at increased complication. I'll take it. It's only grinning. <laughs> I mean, information extraction would be, um, less than useful for actually treating him here, I feel like. <laughs> Um, computer si cooperation? I, I am being assisted technically by being directed.
Does that fly? Mm. Which one again? Yeah, that works. Cooperation. Cooperation. Oh, as a focus, sorry. Yes. Yeah. No, it's whenever an ally attempts a task. No, I have... The, the GM or, or has stated that the fo the GM has stated that the focus of cooperation does apply in this case. Nice. Uh, I am still not assisting the superior though, so oh well. Um, have a threat. I did that again. <laughs> Is the shuttle helping actually? Computer's medicine. Computer's medicine. This is two of the three hits needed. Yeah, I'll get it for you. Oh, oh wait, actually, I have to check the comp I have to check damage on computers. Hold on. I uh, forgot everything's impacted. That might have one. messed with your rolls earlier. I'm just gonna keep it on Garal. I need to stop rolling as the. <laughs> yes, it's the shuttle that's putting staples into his skull. Uh, you, uh, you don't want the computer's help anymore. Oh. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah? It would increase your difficulty by two and your comp range by two. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Um, Grenon's yeah, still assisting, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Grenon's still assisting? Yeah, do you want metal, me to, do you want me to, like, give you an auto crit? Yeah. Well, if you, if you don't assist... That way there's at least a momentum on the board. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I think it's probably If, if you don't succeed the assist, then this roll fails, so... <laughs> Yep, yeah, I'm just going to spend auto crit. Okay. You're able to mend the injury in his skull. Did I have to sedate him for that at all, or just, like, do it live? Uh, it's actually better if you did it, actually. Oh. Because he can report to you if something changed, or if he started tasting funny things. It's like, that's important to know. It's like, ah, does it suddenly look like he's had a stroke? <laughs> And as well, you can spend momentum or th and or threat to recover some of that stress if you want. You do not have to. I mean, I don't know what a stress trap looks like right now. He's taken at least five stress. And actually, because you scanned him, uh, you took five. Because that was a vicious one, I'm assuming. That is just under half of my stress track. Oh. So you're saying I should recover some of that. Uh, I th I'm thinking just put three threat to it, so we still got a momentum for the cautious or other things like that. Sound good? Yeah. So, bring me yeah. down to two stress? Yeah. Okay. And, you know, if your stress track still gets fill uh, filled after that, then I tried. I'm not Dr. Haggard with that amazing power that he had. And I'm going oh, to update man. you on what that happens. Uh, I'm going to tell you what uh, damage systems mean for your various... Uh, yeah, there's a lot wrong with your ship right now. Actually, I will tell this for free to the person at the helm. Awesome. I'm guessing there's a lot wrong right now. Yeah, so apart from the engines which are bollocks, everything is damaged and that increases the difficulty by two. Oh. And I'm assuming we can't really fix those. Uh, we could, it's maybe, but no guarantee. Those. Well, not a station. We just need to be in another ship. We're not in another ship. So basically, the 
Shuttle isn't assisting with diddly squat. Mm -hmm. Weren't we just talking with the Kismet? Like, we, the captain, was. And actually, a uh, rules clarification. Uh, the repairs can be done. The breach remains, but the complication of that breach is removed. So, for example, you... the engine... Uh, you still have two breaches to engines, but you're not just bleeding power now. Okay. Okay. So you're saying we could fix the structure problem and then make all the other fixes easier question mark isn't the structure complication that everything's harder yep does that sound like a plan because we're not in imminent danger of blowing up or powering <laughs> out or anything else yeah as long as we're uh, no longer bleeding power we can start working on patching the hull back together I've read some very interesting papers that might be useful. Except sure. for the fact that you're not my superior, so you Brennan need to slowly doesn't help. sits up in his bunk. Uh, damage report. Everything. And then Kino just stops talking. Mm? Damage report. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> everything is well the engines are pretty much disabled everything's damaged um, we're no longer losing power thanks to Kino but uh could be better what happened we hit something at very high speed alright we have any more. What did we hit? The ship's damaged. I, I could try to get a sensor reading, but the sensor is not going to be particularly helpful right now. Also, I imagine whatever we hit is in little pieces. Unless it was quite large, but if it was quite large, I imagine we would be in little pieces. We kind of uh, are. To answer an earlier question, someone asked where the nacelle was. Oh, it, it's still attached, but there's basically a massive gash across the entire length of it. Oh, mm. we can't see that like, anyway. Well, no, that's what's we seen on the it. on the oh. on the computer. So basically, basically, it's it's imagine a car going super fast and bottoming bottoming mm -hmm. out on a road and just ripping into the undercarriage, except okay. to a nacelle at high warp, at many factors of light speed. Just obliterated yeah. in the cell. Well, it's basically, it looks like we've just hit some debris. Navigation homes like should have handled that, though, right? I certainly hope so, but I can until we fix the ship. I can't give you a definitive. We can go I'll, through the data I'll get on later. starting to patching things. Uh, I can help you, or I can help Shreer, or anything else. I want me to start scanning for problems, but that's not seeming particularly helpful right now. You can't just kind of shrugs it. Up to you, Ensign. Or the captain, I suppose. If you're the Ensign looking at the captain being like... <laughs> As your officers await orders. Well, it sounds like... Primary concern should be... Um, maybe getting their communications back up and running or mm, uh, what's the state of our computer systems because if we have to do everything manually it's going to be a pain uh, again captain everything is damaged oh that's one thing I didn't tell you I got a reactor back Working? Mostly. Stable. Stable. stable Good. Let's yeah. start. Uh, I might say we want to make sure we're not, we haven't sprung any uh, major leaks. Uh, yeah, I'll be having a look at, through, at the engine system through the console. Um, just to see if you've got any excess power going through the damaged nacelle, but... Stabilize structure and then go from there. Right. I think that's about it. I don't know. 
I don't it'll, need engineering books. It'll, it'll make everything else a little bit easier, I think. If we're not worrying about losing the hell's entertainment. The kismet. They should have seen that. Oh, I'm sure they did. Well, wouldn't they I be do. here by now? Yeah. Exactly. That is a question we can answer when we've answered the whole "is the ship leaking air?" question. All right, let's let's start repairing uh, these hull fractures then. Patching them. All right. So an attempt to yeah. repair the structure. We need is occurring. to keep ourselves. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. We need to keep ourselves together once we're. Once we make sure that we're not going to just fly apart, we can take our time. If only Kino outranked me. <laughs> However, she does not. So my abilities still do not help. <laughs> See, usually, being an ensign means that everyone else does outrank you. Uh, nah. We needed some just crewman security. Yeah. Agreed. It makes sense. Oh, Eva suit. Oh. Oh, we did put the captain on a ship alone with just. God damn it. <laughs> At least we didn't just give him Cecil. He hasn't done anything. Um. So do we have. Uh, Eva suits. That will cost you to get it out in a quick and timely manner, and to have it suited up in a quick and timely manner. Uh, Eva right, suits uh, costs. I think it's. Oh, there it is. It's two momentum. Well, what's the uh, what's the difficulty first? We wouldn't know until we. Uh, get impossible. Out. You don't have an Eva suit on. Yeah, we yeah. won't know until we get out there what the difficulty is. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, for I'll now, stop. it's impossible because uh, you're like, where's the broken bits? And then you, and then you guys look around, and then co cockpit calls back outside. Oh. <laughs> well, um, I can't fix it from in here. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, right. because because Kino going on an EVA went so well last <laughs> time. That was in a minefield. There is no minefield here. I Hopefully, hope. I yes, have more. If we have somehow hit a minefield <laughs> and not immediately died, then we are very lucky to start with. That's true. All right, so I'll spend uh, one and one there. I, okay. I assume we're also very unlucky for the fact that we found a minefield in Federation space without it being known beforehand. Um, would I be able to assist Kino from inside with my tricorder? Uh, I you would have the Eva suit has like a link in it, so we can just coordinate through the metal essentially. I was gonna say, why don't you just use the sh the runabout? Like, oh, there's a reason why you're not doing that. Yeah, you yeah. could. It increases complication by one because you're uh, assisting in a suboptimal way, but at least you're not increasing everything else. So, at least I'm not spending extra resources to also go outside of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> So it, it's... well, actually, uh, for a moment, for opportunity spend, that's enough for everybody. Oh, y okay. Never mind. Eva suits are now available for everybody in the scene. Well, yay! I can go out and help you. Yeah. So who's suiting up to go outside? I'm. I'm not particularly great at moonwalking. I don't. Um. How about as a precaution, we all put them on? Probably a good idea. Like, not so. necessarily go outside, but if something terrible does happen, you're not all immediately dead. Grinnan, do you suit up, as your junior officer suggests? He's going to suit up? He, he's not going EVA. Yeah. He's not going out, but he is having... He has the, the suit on. Yep. Yeah. In case we lose containment or anything. Okay. Do I just, like, tie our rope to Kino yeah. so I don't float away? What is this? That's that's what maneuvering thrusters are for. Yeah, that requires skill to use them. <laughs> uh, I will let you perform the advantage of control plus con difficulty of two to set up safety measures. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Control con. I've got a third. Is that Kino setting that up or can Jashrir set that up? Uh, either. And you can assist each other because you're both working on the same problem. Yeah. Uh, I'll assist you, and with my advisor, you can reroll a d20. 
and that you right. could talk someone through easily cool. especially a con um, op a flight officer it's like yeah that we have to i we have to train for that all the time <laughs> yeah uh all right i'll take lead here i guess then um focus in field repairs again here field uh, repairs sometimes involve going out and fixing things i will increase comp by one all right it's adjacent um, but not exactly what i'm looking for yeah that's fair cool um I will spend one threat here for extra die. Three. You know, I do also have student of war, but we're not in combat yet. Uh, so does my comp range go up by one? Uh, just Kino's because of how Kino is using their complication. So okay. you would go, you still use control con? because you're talking them through a detailed process. Okay, uh, would you accept protocols for... Yes. Focus? Very much so. so I'll, uh, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Okay. Roger. And, and you, you, you can re-roll that um, zero if you want. Because of the advisor. Yeah. Do we want the I'll corral assist as well? Which is a 12, but cooperation focus. She's there. She's got hands. Yeah, so go for it. I didn't critically fuck up. And we got one more. Oh, yeah. look, it's all of uh, Grenon's angels working together. Yeah. Oh, hey, you just put on the angel icons, too. <laughs> yeah. That, I wasn't <laughs> trying to match up with you. I just, like, you have a savior backup. Yay. Yeah. You basically have, like, hard ties to each other, and you programmed your suits to automatically alert each other if you happen to ha not looking at your partner to let them know that they've gone a dangerous distance away from you or their health has dropped to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. So you have a, a bunch of fail-saves, which will give you an advantage if something should happen to your partner. Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay, so shall we then? Yes. You step out. This is the weird circumstance where an ensign must defer to a chief petty officer because the chief petty officer knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm. The ensign's like, "Ew, I'm back. I read a theory on this once." <laughs> this con. All right. This is just to get to the damage. All right. As you start um, as you start walking along the hull and the damage, discipline focus for space walking, which is very disorienting and easy to lose I will, focus on what you're doing. It's like uh, no, nope. <laughs> I will take that. I do not have a focus here. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what Is this a roll for both of us, or a lead and assist? Uh, lead and assist. Oh, I've got a 10. I've also got a 10. Okay, I have a focus, so I guess I'm leading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ha. Huh. A momentum, just to be on the safer side of things, hopefully. Sure. Ha. Huh. Hey, we hit it. <laughs> yeah, we did. We hit it. Oh my God. <laughs> Those were two 11s, too. I rolled a 19. <laughs> uh, Trishrere sitting there, the one that's really Ivasu qualified, looking at these two the bumble fucking around outside. <laughs> barely making it. Uh, you notice the primary uh, damage is the nacelle uh it's despite the fact that you've put on emergency shut off valves to cut off uh to make sure that you're not bleeding your plasma from the main core and the other nacelle out it's still bleeding out that way <coughs> which also means that the there's a lot of shorts happening in this area that are causing various issues with the rest of the computer systems mm -hmm. so you're gonna have to actually spend some time to patch that all up you won't be able to get this nacelle to work. It is you need parts like and that you don't have, which is why you. This is why you need a, a star base because they have that kind of repair, or even a starship would be of great help. But uh, with the stuff you have, all you can do is patch and bypass. 
Um, so else. you are looking at. Uh, just about to say, if you. Or before you do that, threat spend GM. Okay. If that information was passed on to the interior of the shuttle, mm -hmm. uh, Shishre could try to remove power from that air. that entire. I'm just. Here and reroute it elsewhere, mm -hmm. so it's not sparking, making the job easier. Um, that would change it from a control engineering to a control science role. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, a lot worse for me, but uh, I have collaboration science. Yeah. Oh, actually. I'll take those two threat backs. I just realized why I might not want. I might not. I don't have to bother with that, uh, because to do that would require the use of the computer system. Huh. Yeah. Um. So it increases the difficulty by two. So the difficulty is a comp range of two to bypass. Difficulty what, sir? Four. To bypass. Hmm. Uh, to do it the other way by just patching it would be that's engineering, obviously. Uh, that's right, and that's the one I would spend up to four. So oh, it depends people. which way. Depends which way you think is easier. Uh, and the... Comp range for the engine... So, computers... Comp of two... Engines... Comp of... Uh, three. For the, the science one, as a co collaboration science, which can also give you a focus, but... Uh... Uh, fun. Engineering is just I'm helping you, but I don't have anything special to help you. Hmm. If it was an extended task, it also have something special to help you, but it's just not. Yeah. If you do the computers thing, you'd have a solid do the lead, and then everyone else could possibly assist, whereas if it's the engineering task, one of these two have to lead, and other people would be assisting by communications. Mm -hmm. well, what do you well, guys think? My my totals here are fourteen with probably a focus, uh, uh, as opposed to for control science I have a twelve. Where is this individual? Oh, that'd be a thirteen, even if I did give Trisha. The stuff. Up to you. Alright. I think. Like. So the the engineering role is at comp three. Yep, that's correct. All right. We are looking at a lower comp with the computer role then. I mean, it's everyone's assisting. It's whatever you feel more confident with. It's just a case of I wanted to try and provide a different option for you. Mm -hmm. What's a uh, Shreer's total momentum? I could give you both the science score. Which for, one? Which, 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 uh, believe it or not, this is a ten roll. Control isn't her best, <clears> and she has a engineering and science of one. If all right, yeah. So then I think we do the the engineering role here because the lead is yeah i was gonna say and also don't forget uh at some point uh you'll have me rally i mean if you rally now I and i do both the have a score which increases their scores significantly yeah like if you do that now and make a single momentum then we've got two i can give them both a science score of four and a focus well since right, sure guys, control is not great hers is a nine I believe a rally is occurring. Yep. I'll give her a 13. Right, everyone. Just remember, this is 
standard Starfleet protocol. This might not be our, uh, this might not be all of our areas of expertise, but we all took the same emergency response courses, all the same emergency preparedness courses. We know what to do in this kind of a situation. You've got this. Uh, I am going to, to uh, for this command. Zero, uh, team dynamics focus. Yes. Isn't uh, going to spend the momentum for the reroll? Uh, sorry, two people were talking. He's spending momentum for the reroll. One, three momentum. What was the other thing? Oh, uh, Garal's a Cardassian transfer officer. So I don't think she's done the same training. <laughs> Uh, she w she would have some training, like if she, uh, I would got, like collaboration courses. Yeah, yeah, but it's not like the exact same the training. Speed. Yeah, they're probably, yeah. but it's probably something she can just in, in like herself Starfleet about. safety protocols, like the exact kind of safety protocols that Grennan is uh, saying. Remember your training. No, I was just imagining it's something she can smirk to herself about, like. <laughs> I've got something different. But this will give Kino a 15. And Shashir a 13. Both with focuses. If you want to do it that way. Yeah, yeah, I think with, with that spend, it, it makes sense to do it that way. So, what, spending I, two for that? Yep. Yeah, Congrat uh, I'm assuming... Uh, given we're going to computers route for rerouting stuff, that uh, a computer systems focus is applicable here. Yes. If not cooperation, which would just be the cheesy way to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, Pen, I think you have lead on this one now. You do, uh, Pen does. Sala uh, is here to save your lives. So I'm gonna roll... Control con because it's just, it's the correct score for, from the collaboration. Very good. Yeah. It just saves me editing the sheet. Yeah. I imagine Keanu I'll be doing the same thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And you said this was difficulty four. Comp up to. Okay. I don't even need to actually assist. I just need to be present in the scene to would, give you this benefit. Would you accept the focus of protocols? It's a... You have computer systems. You have oh, computers. Yeah, uh, yeah, I have to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you have my knowledge. As the scientist uh, starts talking. <laughs> trying to think of a, a determination spend for her now, just to get the two off the bat. Hmm. You know, it would have to be like mission directive of, you know, let's not fry the two people outside or blow up the shuttle. I will have to say no. Yeah, I figured as much. Can't the fleet captain write his new directives for us now? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna spend a momentum. Yeah. I don't get a reroll, but you know, it's better than nothing. Okay, so that is most of the way there. All the way there, past the way there. Doesn't Garal have some kind of talent or some shit? Uh, oh, I'm assisting a superior. Right, I, I mean, you're the con officer, and I assume? You're actually Starfleet as well. Uh, I believe, I would give it in the sense that Asala has seen and stuff yeah. in the um, same range. Yeah. I'm assisting a superior, the superior gains a bonus momentum. Spend them uh, both the squash. Okay. You are able to repair the complications that are caused by the structure damage. So repairing of others, you're now not having random bits of the ship catch fire. It's just flying off. And eventually, and also you're able to stop the flow of plasma from just bleeding out. Yay! You now have this, I mean, the nacelle's still wrecked, but hey, it's not uh, causing, it's not exasperating the rest of your problems. Are there any are there any of the other repairs we need to do from out here? 
it's while we're out here. <laughs> yeah, basically. You know, like uh... the system, maybe, I don't know. Oh, comms and like... sensors. Oh. Oh, both of the things we wanted to use. You know, I What do you want us to sense. prioritize, Captain? Oh, Captain, my Captain. Okay. I'm just Get looking over the list of things that need doing. No, I, I hear you. I just need. Uh, oh, we'll just we've got um, comms and sensors while we're outside. Yeah. That also need you. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd get our sensors back up and running. If the kismet hasn't come for us already, then they uh, then something must be up or else they would have been here by now. Trying to get her comms systems up and running would probably be a waste. Uh, sensors, aye. Sensors, right, where are those? They're at the back, right? That's the pod thing there? Oh, oh, they're all the way in the... We can wave as we go past. <laughs> and hopefully not go all the way past. That would be bad. Because <laughs> the, the array strip is along this bit. Oh. Oh man, we gotta have like a. They gotta do like a cool shot of like Kino and Garal walking underneath the bottom of it while. No, we're just walking and, like uh, straight down Asala the screen. Is, like sitting in the cockpit. Huh? Just walk straight down the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, fitness uh, cons. Uh, I'm going to assume the same focus of last time will apply. Yep. I'll give you a threat. Sure. And hopefully not biff it. Oh, hey, that's not a biff. I made you some momentum, Kino. Kino! <laughs> I'm just assisting here. Wait, oh, you... Wait, huh? It was a lean and assist last time. Oh, right. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so like, oh. sure. You, you, you notice two people are crawling around the front of the runabout. Crawling? We're walking. Please. We put mag boots. We well, mag boots. You, there's walking, and then you have to kind of, like, awkwardly, like, lean down... Like oh, to yeah. you, you're kind oh, of yeah, leaning oh, yeah. down to something at your feet. To the to the window, it's someone who's just kind of whoop. Can <laughs> you two hi there? <laughs> <laughs> so I say, like, can you two please not get space debris on my windscreen? Uh, you know, I'll have to ask the next rock that hits us. <laughs> Wait, you want to Actually, as it approaches you, there is a. <laughs> as the thing hits your navigation deflector screen and it evaporates. Huh. Well, we can confirm the navigation deflectors works. are working. Yeah. <laughs> we found the one thing that works without us needing to touch it. Look at that. If you lost power, <laughs> being outside <laughs> would have been super dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, let's, this is, uh, <laughs> let's get to work. <laughs> this is why there's a tier list of, of what you repair when. <laughs> yeah. Power and structure. <laughs> Starship repair tier list. <laughs> and sensors before comms, because if you start screaming for help and, you know, it's only people who are bad to you that are nearby that hear you, then there's a problem. And yeah. you won't be able to tell that they're coming for you. Control engineering. You know, this time I'm assisting you, and you're a chief petty officer, so duty and discipline matters for squat. Because I am better than you. <laughs> Wow. Well, That's you're Cardassian, you're automatically. I mean, yes, I'm already better than them, but I'm better than them <laughs> in even more ways now. Mm -hmm. What is Kino? Uh, Kino's a trill. She's not even yeah. a joints trill, she's just a regular trill. <laughs> uh, field repairs focus here again, TM? Uh, yes. <laughs> Cooperation. Right. Yep. Hilariously. Because I'm sounding so cooperative. Right now. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm deigning uh, to let you assist me. I'll I'm dating spend, to you. I'll spend a momentum here, I guess. Uh, I think it's four dice. We should probably be fine. Why did I even ask for a focus? I've got an engineering score of one. <laughs> you want to flex? I don't know. I guess. Actually, 
If you've got an injury score of one, I'm spending an extra momentum and a threat for four days. <laughs> You're like, oh, never mind. I'm not relying on you. Yeah. <laughs> The Hydra Spanner. The what? The Hydra... That one. <laughs> I got it. Jeez. <laughs> I was looking for a bottle of water. You said Hydro. See, these are the sensors. These are what I use. I just don't normally touch them like this. Well, no, that's generally what pilots and engineers are for. Do I want to know how you normally touch your sensors? With the screen inside the ship. With the so that I can see what's outside the ship. Uh, mm. You notice that the damage to your sensor strip is uh, pretty bad. Um, it's damaged, but you're able to at least uh, patch out the parts that keep you from seeing random blips of stuff that aren't there. Imagine having like stuff on glasses, like that you have random crap on your glasses, and you can't. You're like, I see, I see a white thing to my upper left. No, no, that's just something on your glasses. Computers don't differentiate. Like, it's there. Like, no, no, ignore that, please. You see, mm -hmm. I don't have to wear glasses, so I don't know what that feels like. Uh, windshields, same idea. I can't drive, so I don't know what that feels like. <laughs> You've been in a I'll moving vehicle. You. You, 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 you did not swim across the bloody Pacific. Sorry, I'm on a plane. <laughs> And I'm not in the cockpit. And you were in an aisle seat, right? Exactly. Girl dies. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even make a roll. No, just uh, Vada dies. He's like randomly, randomly off screen. <laughs> Get back it, the the ceiling just falls on him. Uh, the gain minute power. Ceiling anyway. fall, everyone dies. The Klingon pilot just kills him. Yeah. And this is the communications hub. Oh. Oh, I got those mixed up. Can you tell I'm not an engineer? Uh, it has gone difficulty one to crawl your way over to the communication system. A momentum. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Uh, For a role I'm not particularly good at. We're I'm rolling my assist just in case I complicate. Yeah. Ooh. Hey! Ooh. Ooh. That monkey was. Noises. Monkey noises go. <laughs> <laughs> monkey noises. Monkey noises go. This is like the pair of them have just slowly been getting more and more confident with the space walking, and the, the yeah. one roll to get back in the ship is where we fuck up hard. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Do we want to spend that momentum and one more to not... I don't know what advantage we could make to not fuck up that hard. Uh... I don't know what... You just lower the difficulty, the make it a div zero. But how? Of the fitness, con roll to navigate around, we're getting experience. Practiced at it, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're getting yeah. well-versed at it. We are actually competent. <laughs> Two junior... members of the crew. Yeah. All right, you're at the comm system. All right. You are How looking you hear us? at... It's not a tin can on a string. <laughs> um... <laughs> Roger. It's, it's better than, you know, like, you know, just like putting her faceplate to the... to the... <laughs> the front of the shell and just trying to yell in. <laughs> it conducts. You can do that. <laughs> oh, <definitely. laughs> hmm. but you're still leading this one. Yeah. And we've got lots of momentum now from walking. Yes, from walking. <laughs> power walking, even. Yeah. <laughs> Is it technically powered walking? Because the boots are. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it would be. It would be. Yeah. Oh, no. Powered walking. All right. Um. I'll give you one threat and momentum for five dice here. Okay. Okay. Watch me fuck this do, 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 do. Up. Oh. You know, whenever <laughs> I have a lack of confidence in myself, I still make it. <laughs> Somehow. 
Uh, you notice that there seems to be uh, some uh, debris that uh, flooded the uh, comm array. Uh, basically, when your ship briefly got hit and it dropped out of warp, uh, there, there was a split second where the nav shield died, which is hyper dangerous in space because everything out here can kill you. Um, and then it just peppered the heck out of the comm system before the nav shield popped back on again and then which it's not destroyed, thankfully, but that wasn't... You basically had to sandblast, or you took like a little energy, uh, a, a laser, mm -hmm. and just sw swept it. It's like, it's still damaged, but at least it's not clogged anymore. However, that also does mean if we'd been up by like, what, a meter, we'd probably all be dead. It would, Yeah, that would have peppered your, uh, your front screen and killed screen. a lot of you. Yeah. No. Huh. Mm -hmm. You got super lucky. Well, yes, I'm sure this entire event can be construed as lucky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the final repair is something you can do inside. You can choose to do it outside if you, but you can repair it from the inside. <laughs> We're the already system. out here, boss. <laughs> right? Does the difficulty change at all? Yeah. Is there any benefit to doing it inside versus outside? Uh, yes, you could possibly generate momentum because you're actively going and you're doing it the more difficult, but m frankly, better way to do it. It's but, ideal to yeah. fix things from the outside, not the inside. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's let's go. With it. <laughs> We're apparently the the squad right now. Um. I'll give you. A momentum, just... I like safety. <laughs> I like safety. <laughs> Wonderful. Hey, I got uh, your assist, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me enough momentum to squash this. <laughs> there we go. Hey. <laughs> nothing lost, nothing gained. Let's squash that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. You notice that uh, the main problem here is the micro uh, torpedoes are uh, the um, tube uh, is basically been uh, exposed to high intense heat uh, because this thing was basically on plasma fire for a while uh, before it guttered itself out because of the automatic safety system. So that just scorched the hell out of the torpedo. So you have to unscorch it and then give it away to be open. So if you want to shoot, you can. All right. Was this the last system we need to fix? Yep. Okay. But we still have computers. Oh yeah. Oh, can we? Even oh, you do still have computers. Yep. Computers is on the inside. Actually, computers yeah. is definitely on the inside. You can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, control engineer. Uh, spend a momentum. Ah, I didn't help you this time. Wait, it's still near the back, though. So yeah, you're able to do. You're able to basically permanently keep the door open a little bit, but it's a micro torpedo tube, so it's not like it's exposing the torpedo room to vacuum. It's a compartment. It's not ideal to leave it like this, but if you don't do it this way, you won't be able to shoot. So, yeah. or it would make it harder to shoot in general. So, this is this will work for now until you can get into a bay to get it properly fixed. And if the door doesn't open, but it still fires the torpedo, then we've just torpedoed ourselves. That's bad. Yeah. That's very bad. Well, yeah, you basically have to tell the computer every time you want to shoot, no, no, I'm leaving that door closed on purpose for some reason. Mm -hmm. Which confuses the computer, but now you're like, nope, the door's open, leave it alone. Well, we deliberately make it easy to confuse the computer so that we don't have an AI uprising. Um, <laughs> let's return to the inside of the ship. Right? We don't have anything else to do out here. That's all the external systems. I don't like that. 
Ah. As you're fi- you're starting to feel a little tired. You've been at this for a while. We have. Um. Fitness. Oh, fitness. Oh. Oh, that suddenly made it worse. <laughs> have a momentum yeah yeah it's been fitness this whole time what are you talking uh oh no you said the first one was control oh well which would have meant those are those are two successes in there if that was still control (laughs) huh that was fitness I was rolling fitness oh oh I must have fucked up then I don't know I am six still well, it was a pleasure knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> Off we did make a safety space. system just for the situation. Yes, we did make a safety system. It's true. But hey, if we fly away now, we've repaired the ship, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Except so we're tethered to each other as well as to the ship, I believe. So mm. if you go, you're taking me with you. Oh, well, one of us will figure out how to get back to the ship eventually. Mm. Hopefully. <laughs> Or you run out of air. Yeah, that that's also an option. I mean, that oh, takes a while, though. I think we've got like twenty-four hours in these suits. We've got something like that, yeah. Yeah, like it's a it's a fairly high number, honestly. The the amount of air compression these suits must get is is pretty insane, or else they use like micro replicators or something. Something like that. Replicate little bits of air. I mean, if if you condense what you need down to one resource is just power, that could make sense. Mm. Potentially. See you. Back. Hi. So, uh, yeah, uh, the two of you find your gasp air, and not because you're just tired. Huh. You kind of just cut. You let your. You kind of let your boots kind of clink into the to the hull and kind of just stand there for a bit, catching your breath. At least we're not floating away. I think that would have been a comp. <laughs> floating yep. away, probably. <laughs> you can oh. try again. You just have to waste some time. You just wait some waste some time catching your breath. Oh, we also wasted the momentum for killing the roll. But hey, yep. uh. D- Let's waste and another actually one. The difficult, and actually the difficulty drops to zero because it's a new Okay, let's waste another one. It's diff zero now. Yeah. I can't fuck up twice. <laughs> <laughs> you could have. I didn't, though. Yeah, but you could have. I guess, but your assist, there we go. Look at that. We've got three momentum now. What are you complaining about? Uh, no, we've only got two. <laughs> what? No, I spent you one, spent one. Three. Yeah, you spent one. That means we would have got... One Diff back. Zero. Oh yeah, what's a zero? I know what I'm about. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Grawl and Tear uh, re-enter the runabout, and all that is left is the computers that are damaged. The red alert stops sounding because you're no. You know, uh, the computer is damaged, but that is not considered a life or death system. Hmm. Oh. Um. Yeah, we can technically do everything manually. Yeah. I can but... start working on the computers, but now that we've got everything back else back online, this, this is too umcrawl. You might want to see what happened. Oh, Just kind of shrugs. I should probably check the sensors. Also, yeah. The red alert. And the sh- one of the red alerts in the ship might have finished, but this one's still here. That was a bad joke. Okay, I'll go check the sensors. Yeah. That uh-huh. was dumb. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it was that hot. <laughs> it really was. It was terrible. <laughs> so what are you trying to do? Actually, can As I... You pro- as you go to the bridge, uh, to the cockpit. Yes, well, I wasn't on the sensors when the incident happened, so maybe I can go through and verify some things here. I am sure, you can, you can check over the computer systems. 
Oh, is right? That is all. Huh. <laughs> you know, I should just check where the kismet is. <laughs> I was like, um. I was like, I just huh, realized. No. Yeah, I, I, was like, I have a better fitness con than both of you. And yet you made your juniors do it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, I'm, I'm scanning for the kismet and then not going to happen with that. Uh, Look, so you're you're doing a sensor sweep. Okay. Yes. It's basically okay. You are behind us at max range. Where are you now? <laughs> you're a big ship. We've been here for what, like an hour or two now. <clears throat> Guessing something. I have no oh, idea. That's reassuring. Reason science diff zero means either the they're above us and we didn't see them, or they're just not there. Zero. Reason science. See, the fact that it's difficulty zero would normally be a good thing, but given the circumstances, I don't think it's a good thing. Um, my my mm -hmm. personal rule of thumb, if, the, if your GM is giving you a diff zero, oh, that's not good. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that's either the GM being really nice to you or something bad. <laughs> a focus and information extraction from the sensors. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give complication because I know what that really means, <laughs> um, but it's related. <laughs> Listen, they're, they're damaged sensors. I need to be particularly thorough with them. I know what that means. I play a Cardassia, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that translates to. And it has nothing to do with sensors. Oh, well, that's sensors right. Sensors anyway. It does have to do with sensors. <laughs> yeah, you just strap someone to them. Um, um, yes. Um, exactly. Uh, the sensors aren't usually this big. Haha, see... -ha, look at that. It's a 19 because of the complication. <laughs> Or just squash well, it. Uh, yeah, it's a diff zero. I can squash it with those two. God damn it! What? Well, hang on. See what the um. See what the oh. We at least get one momentum out of this. Hey. Wait, did it did it roll a one? Oh no, it rolled a seven. Yeah, I think. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, no, the kismet's not on sensors. Uh, are we in the right not... place for where we should be? Oh, is that a computer question or a sensors question? I don't know. That's a mute so question. Are... Uh, stand by. Yeah, that would probably be uh... astral navigation. Oops. It's like to the extent of, well, it could be a computer's thing, or I could just not use them and make my life harder. Which is, honestly, the computers right now are also making my life harder. Oh. That's not a me question. Oh, that's right. That's a, um, maybe, I'm not going to answer this. Maybe, sure. Maybe. Hmm? Yes? The floor is yours, Captain. I was going to say, maybe we should have Kino try to repair the computers first. Quite likely. That was what I was going to work on next. Yes. It's Sounds like this job is theater. going to require some heavy astronavigational calculations. You should have the, uh, well, I don't doubt your abilities, Ensign, um, you should probably not try to do that one by hand. <laughs> Pull out. Let me break up my tricorder, do some quick math. <laughs> it's just my job mm -hmm. to posit possibilities. Oh, are you saying I can't do what my brother does? I'm gonna spend a no, three momentum here. Oh, I can't even remember the last time that Pen did astronavigational calculations by hand. Well, I hit it. You did hit it. That's a comp. It comp stands. stands. You, as you start, oh, as you do I the last bit of patch, last thing. you have run oh. out of spare parts in that kit. This kit is only supposed to repair so much. <laughs> uh -huh. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> 
Hey, you, right. you, you, uh, you scraped and scratched every last little bit out of that kit. Yeah. For uh, the computers to shift it down to diff three comp one. Mm. Awesome. Well, we got a momentum on the board. I'll spend that because she's cautious con. Do you want my assistance? Yeah. Sure, why not? I have a good reason. And cooperation. And uh, to note to you what happened to computers, basically it's just the overcharge from everything else being damaged. It just shorted out the computer and it did what it could to save oh, itself. Oh, does the but computer still get to help it. us now? Yep. It's, it gets to help. Been repaired, therefore it gets to help. Yep. Yeah. I mean, technically it got to help before. It just kind of made things worse to do so. Yeah, you, you didn't want the computer helping at that point. It's like, hey, hey, I can help. I can help. No, please, please don't. Please don't. No, please. Let's stay back there. <laughs> Stop helping. It's like, why Why is our navigation screen just flickering every... That's not annoying at all. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I assisted my superior. You have a bonus moment. So, the question is, where are you, I believe? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, is it possible to spend the bonus momentum? to figure out our last location to this one? Yep. somewhere on the other side of deep space G is. No, it's not deep space. It's just a uh, star base. Star base G. Star base, yep. It's a, yeah, it's a proper star base. Yeah, uh, watch for somehow on the opposite side of that. Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, Captain, hmm. uh, we've currently dropped out in the Eplop system. We were about to pass by it, but obviously um, whenever when the we dropped out of warp. We dropped out in the system. Or well, at extreme range to it. We're about ten Where the hell is the Kismet? We're about ten light years away from uh Starbase Aegis. Uh, ten light years, that's I mean I can try and I mean, limp. You there. can see he's trying to do He's trying to do the quick back of the napkin math as to how long that'll take the shuttle to get there. A long time even yeah. if we get out of the bush. Yeah. Uh, yeah and I'll answer someone for actually because you know this off the top of your head. Because you did just plot the course, so you're like, oh, well, if we're here, then according to this speed, it would take us about this long. Uh, Captain... Unless you're willing to spend 40 years crawling there, probably not the best option. That's... that's a no. Um... Alright. Think our comm systems will reach them? Um... It may be worth trying to reroute power from the engines to the comm system to boost it. Good call. Because we're kind of in a weird right place. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, crawling forward or backward in any given direction isn't gonna do us must much good. Oh no, backwards will take longer than 40 years. And Wait. I do plan to grow old, just not in a runabout. <laughs> I mean, it's a long stay runabout. Sorry. <laughs> it's a long it could stay. become relevant. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your captain? Well, he got fucking annoying after like 10 dates. Yeah, they didn't hit anything. There was just a bomb in the, in the cell. 
But yeah, um, what would be the role in rerouting power from the the engines, like from the cell to the uh, broadcast? What I'll do, I'll actually borrow from the Klingon book on this. Uh, you spend uh, on a task, if the task requires power, you still spend it. If it has zero power, whatever. But if you're rerouting power, you spend one of your power, it... Uh, uh, that's what I'm looking up because there is a way to do that. I just don't normally do it in the other game because that doesn't come up. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but it is a thing I saw in there. It's I was like, neat. oh, that's a that's a neat little thing you can do. That is a yeah, good idea. Power is like ninety percent of the solutions. Well, yeah, because we kind of did that from one nacelle to the other nacelle in the first place. Yeah, well, that one was like you trying to do it. That was you doing like a repair job. This is you actually going, oh, I'm actually dumping more power into the thing I want to do. Uh... Oh, hell with it. Uh, we'll look it up later. Uh, for now, uh, what... I'll just ad hoc it for now. I'll look it up later. Uh, so you want to try to do... You're trying to hail someone. Hail or like general distress because we're in Federation space. Which one? Those are different things. Are you um, sending out a general distress that blasts your current location and status or are you trying to contact a very particular person? Probably best off trying to hit a... General distress with our the ship's ID. Yeah. Yes, we are in Federation. Oh, we are still in Federation space, right? You yeah. are, yep. Yeah. In a well patrolled area, there's no reason to think we have to be overly cautious, right? And only ten light years from a star yeah. base. Ensign, put out a general distress call. Garol, insight science roll. Insight science. Uh, difficulty? Question mark? Oh, difficulty diff one, right one. there. Okay, yes. Yep. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Insight. Um, information extraction. <laughs> uh, increased complication. Uh, do I have any other more applicable focus, given I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here? Are you noticing something on your sensors? Uh, computer systems? I'll take that. Okay. I like that more than information next year. Uh, <laughs> <extra. laughs> one, one momentum and a dream. Yeah, that's a dream, all right. I, did I do that again? I did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh. we'll just squash. Yeah. Like, that seems to be the way this is just going tonight is just hitting the exact difficulty plus enough momentum to squash the complication we generate. It's a good system. The system works. <laughs> I'm imagining it's about to be, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh yeah, yes, there are sensor contacts. I don't know what these sensor contacts are. There's two of them. Um, hmm. Yes, two sensor contacts. I don't. I imagine they're at longer range. I also imagine that'd be a question to answer. Extreme range. Okay. Uh, sensor what contacts. Class of vessel are they? Ah, uh, that is a spend. That one I think we should spend for. Am I incorrect here, people? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What should spend for that? I like to know who's about to kill me. Um. Oh, hey. It's a Federation civil freighter and a, a Hermes class. 
Hermes class. Who's the Hermes class? That is, I think that's old as hell, isn't it? That's a... That's a TOS era ship, ain't it? Yeah. You know, those old scientists. Uh, Captain, what's a TOS? <laughs> those old those old scientists. As, as old scientists in those old scientist ships. It seems a little Probably. disrespectful, Captain. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is a ship. Oh. It was a joke in um it was a joke they made in lower decks. Lower decks. Oh, it's a oh. Scout ship, if I recall correctly. <laughs> scout ship. But it is incredibly outdated. Right? I was gonna say, weren't there. those Weren't those, um, taken out of service decades ago? A civil escort might make sense? Maybe? Is it I don't know. broadcasting Starfleet codes? Uh, or is it in private question. hands? That, that would be a question, but I feel like that's now a question to ask with threat, because we have no more momentum. Uh, actually, this is now Starship Recognition Rule. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a mate. Put that on your screen as a. Uh, I don't know. Oh look! If I if I only had um, momentum. Yeah. Oof. Sorry about that. If well, we I wouldn't only be doing had this a brain. That. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I can help you though. I'll take the assist. Yeah. Um. I'll, I'll I'll try for the reach one last time. Mission directive: I'm trying to get the fleet captain to the starbase. In, uh, in this one, I would take yes, because this is you trying to verify a friendly ship. Oh shit! Okay. Hmm. Uh, Wait, did we actually? We didn't actually pick up deep space ages, did we? No. You wouldn't at this range anyway. You're over tight limit ten. You're like extreme plus ten. You know, you're way too far away. Yeah, we're miles away. We are more than miles away. Yeah. Uh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> listen here, smartass. <laughs> yes. We're light miles away. Oh, I see. Being a smartass is my job. I'm the scientist. Uh, computer, could you load the thing, please? I guess I'm restarting my roll 20 because I can't load the thing I need. Hmm. Restart, please. It's the danger icon. Um, Peter? I'm fine. I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, as soon as he puts the icon down, he goes, Danger! Danger! Does High voltage! <laughs> and my browser recall, is it? crashing. Oh. oh no. Oh, fun. I'm trying to recall here. Isn't the Hermes class just. It looks like another ship that is told it's something different. Uh, it is a upgraded version of the Saladin. Of the Saladin? Yeah. Here, I can find it. Eh? Feel free to look that up if you wish. It's in the computer. Or memory alpha. It's... It's a constitution class. It's the one where it's... It's, it's got... It's literally just the saucer section with a single uh, nacelle below it. Oh. No engineering deck. The Saladin class destroyer? What the shit? <laughs> it's it's a destroyer? <laughs> what? Federation's coming after us for having a warship. They had a destroyer a hundred years ago. Well, yeah, destroyer as in ship classing. Destroyer smaller than yeah. a cruiser. Yeah. See, mo modern day uh, Starfleet doesn't bother to generally. I think the only destroyers that are normally fielded are the Sabres and now the Defiance. But they usually use cruisers. I think a mm -hmm. Defiant counts as a Corvette. Yeah, actually, you're right. It would count as a Corvette. I mean, ha a, an overgunned Corvette. <laughs> but oh, yeah. It's health. like a. Uh... There's the firepower of a destroyer and the footprint of a, of a, uh, of a Corvette. It's like, I mean, that's uh, like the, okay. The pocket yeah. battle ships. It, it's, and it's it has a, the power output of a cruiser destroyer. somehow. Yeah, it's it's a pocket destroyer. Oh no! Uh, well, Discord's still working, but I am having problems getting into my browser. Oh no! That mm, thing looks uh, stupid. There do, you go. Um, shall I say, do uh, I restart your computer for go. a second? 
No, no, I know how to fix it. I just have to. I, I just have to crash the uh, program. Oh. Tell it to stop. I can quickly run upstairs and get food so this works out. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm gonna grab a glass of water. I don't know why. I just. I. I do not like with... any of the Starfleet vessels that have like just a single nacelle below the saucer, and that's it. To be fair, I, I've yeah. since I've been back playing STO, I'm definitely taking a liking to the four nacelles. Oh, the four nacelles I can get behind. Yeah, yeah ships with four oh, nacelles yeah. is like it's... yes. For for me, it's the the thing with the one nacelle is that like, even though I know it's in space and it doesn't matter, it looks so horribly imbalanced. Well, you'd never mm -hmm. be able to take it. You'd never be able to land it in an atmo just not yeah it's a, yeah. a no-go well most of the tos era you can land except for the old birth you could land that that's part of what it, it was for <laughs> it was for landing mm -hmm. if you need for science experiments and stuff yeah and that's why the miranda is the way it is because it's something that you can land yeah and then other ships started taking that design of having something you can emergency land or land if you needed to whereas constitution it's like you can't land that if you're landing you're crashing <laughs> mm-hmm which is I always find the idea of um, ships that can submerge, like spaceships that can also submerge, very interesting. Mm. I mean, yeah. can I just point out that it's what, crashing um, is just direct landing? <laughs> I, I wrote it into the um. I wrote it in when I was doing uh Hadfield that um, there we go. The Nova class, the Nova class can uh go underwater. It. Oh, okay. I was gonna say it could land because that makes sense because it's uh, of that same family of ships. So what was? I mean, oh, it, that's it took, what I was to... like it took some it took some structural integrity field manipulation to get it to work, but I reasoned that the Nova class is small enough that it yeah. could. They made a defiant function. class go underwater. Not a defiant huh? class. They made a um they made a Delta Flyer go underwater in Voyager. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I hath returneth. So there we yeah. go. What did I miss? Anything fancy? <laughs> No. I almost missed my chair. Uh, Good job. Captain, it appears to be the USS Norwest. It's a Pathfinder and Recon operations vessel. Uh, Hermes class NCC 601, sharpshooter variant scale 4. Shouldn't that be retired by mm. now? 601? Correct, NCC 601. That's an old... That's an old designation. There should be a retired... Do we have a service now. record in the computer system? Oh, for a momentum? Oh. oh, that's for free. I, that was just something I hadn't gotten to. Yet. Uh, it appears the service date was 2269. Until uh, that apparently present day, you do have a bonus moment because I assisted you. Okay, bonus spend. Uh, yeah, I can answer that. Um, I just didn't think to tell you that because uh, I had the first numbers. Oh, I, I suppose you would know the second. Number. Um, so we hit a rock and went back in time. No, we hit subspace and went back in time. Oh, we hit a rock that hit subspace. Yeah. And went back in time. The rock come back in time with us. No, we just spent little bits of that rock are all throughout time now. Uh, oh. Captain, it re seems it remained in service until 2320. Oh no. Grenin, st Grenin stands up. Um, you guys see him just walk towards the back. Uh, he doesn't even care that Kino is back there, and you just hear him go, I hate time travel. Oh, well, I've never done that before, so this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I've ever been back this path, this far. This far? No, you have. 
Yeah. Oh, cool. That's player side. Forget it. Something. Yeah. When was Kino back in time? Um, when the entire Kino went back in time. But that was only uh, like 10 minutes. So, I don't yeah. know if that counts. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it counts. Oh, and this is I'll, not good. I will give you new scene. Yay! I will note, if you are in an adjacent area to a ship, it will see you. Yep. Oh, we've got no planetary bodies exactly near us. Damn. And also only sublight speed. Mm-hmm. Well, nothing for it. Time to crack over a cold one. I'm not even on the screen right now, so <laughs> I find that I mean Garal's not even. Yeah. <laughs> Garal dies well, now. We don't have many. We don't have many options given the structural integrity of of a uh, of the Mare Nubium. I don't think we dare attempt a um a uh, light speed breakaway factor. We don't have warp, as far as I can tell, sir. We are indeed missing a nacelle. Well, you know, most of it. Everything important about the nacelle is kind of missing. That's why I say we don't dare try it. But we couldn't try it anyway. Right, um... What do you suggest we do, Captain? Well, first things first, we need to get ourselves somewhere where we can set the shuttle down and regroup. Um, well, I am detecting multiple planetary bodies. I'm just assuming that whatever's on the map, you know, she can sense or see. And the GM's gone, so hey, he can't argue with me until it's too late. Um, <laughs> so we could try to locate one... And um, set ourselves down there. I don't quite know what this anomaly is. An asteroid field, maybe? Or a very sketchy nebula. Mm -hmm. What do we Honestly, know about... Like much, but... uh, what do we know about Ippolup 4? That it's a planet with three moons? The GM's not here, I can't ask him I mean, more than that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it looks like it's got a lot of ice on it. Yeah, it looks like it might um, have a very have intense poles. Yeah. Very intense poles, but might might be uh, habitable, like L class maybe. Oh, God. Hmm. Do we have anything That's in our systems guess. about the nature of the planet in. GM's well, still not back. I suppose we. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Whoop. Well, I, I I hope we get to do my favorite time travel trope here. What's that? You've got lots of tricks that you like to try and pull, and you say that they're all your favorite. Um, one of my favorite time travel tropes is um, uh, the long road. The long way back. Uh, just freeze ourselves or whatever. Or, or I, well, leave so. information behind for the kismet to discover in the present. Uh huh. You know, um, I prefer if we don't die be, of old yeah. age. Yeah. Well, yes, but, but, um, at least if the kismet knows what our situation is, we can they can hopefully try to work out a solution from their end, and we're not entirely on our own. Well, yes. Yes, okay, so now we can ask the questions about the planets that you wanted me, you kept asking me that I am not infinitely wisdom on. <laughs> wisdom, wise. Uh, we want to know what's, uh, 
what's in our records about Ippel up four? Reason con difficulty one assisted by computers plus con. Oh, oh no. I just thought of something that makes this even worse if we're found. You know. Aside from the ship being something that doesn't fit, I don't think Starfleet's met Cardassians yet. Have uh, they? Oh, no, they haven't. Oh, no, they haven't. they've run. They've run into Bajorans brief. Kirk ran into Bajorans briefly. Cardassians at best would be they would have seen the ships, but never seen a Cardassian before. <laughs> like they would have seen each other at, uh, at a distance taking some pot shots at each other and Starfleet would nope let's just go somewhere else <laughs> I was gonna yeah. say in, in, in terms of the fleet canon wasn't first contact with Cardassia and like the first diplomatic overtures with Cardassia specifically the Argo it is you're correct uh huh but Kirk, but Kirk had some brief run-ins before then. He just didn't know what he was running into. He knew what Bajorans were, but he didn't know what Cardassians were. He just knew strange ships that looked like this. Which the Arca went, oh, Occasionally well. shoot at me. Yeah. Bajorans are like, we don't know who that is. Nice to meet you, though. Bye. He's like, okay, bye. We're, we're, we're not settling here, so have a nice day. A <laughs> U-roll, by the way, Pend. I assume. Okay, look. I'll spend a moment. I, I can assist you as always, but uh, my my assistance is more valuable than my uh, leading. Um, focus in protocols. I'll have to say no here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll reroll. There is a bonus momentum. Yeah, I also need to roll computers, Con. Oh, yes. So, are we just going to play cat and mouse around some planets until we can get close to that other one, maybe? Our planetary bodies. That one rock looks like it's just about in the sun. Which is fine for me, temperature-wise, probably, but not the Andorian. Hmm. Okay, we, we're climatically opposed. Climatically? Is that a phrase? Or a word? Probably. It sounds like it should be a word. It's also the question of how are we going to get back without any sort of warp capacity. We don't have the parts on hand to repair this. Uh, if the Norwest is doing surveys, then we can, or hopefully it's moving slowly, you know, going from place to place, scanning, rather than trying to warp around. Uh, hopefully. Well, I'm mostly concerned about how are we going to get back. Oh yes, don't worry, I'm concerned about that too. I just don't know. Yet, yeah, I'll think of something. That that does uh, fall not, my job description. I'm not uh, debating that one. Uh, the the readouts on the screen are displayed for others to see. Uh. uh the locals periodically set themselves on fire. Is that what that says? The local flora? I feel like there's a word missing there. Just the uh, local the creatures. Okay. The animals set themselves on fire. Lovely. Underwater. And that's how they spread their seed. <laughs> that's unique. Was an Andorian top secret military research base? Ooh. No. Yeah, well, I mean, there are definitely plants, like, on Earth that spread their seeds when 
fires happen. Fires, yeah. Um, but not underwater. But there, I don't think there are any that do it to themselves deliberately. Or underwater. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, here's, here's one for you. We've spent the bonus to get the, the information. Can I spend one more to find out more about the Andorian top secret project? Yeah. You certainly can. So that seems like if it has sensor capability, then landing on that planet might not be an option. Yep. Please don't tell me the Andorians are about to shoot down the Norwest. Uh, I mean, well, I know they're part of the Federation, but if they're doing an independent top secret military thing, then, you know. If I could find the document I'm looking for, that would be great. <clears throat> Oh, that's making hard. Um, That's just fucking hilarious. Oh no. Run by your grandma? Oh, I think I... I was going uh, to say, this is going to be like Azalon bullshit, isn't it? Uh, Captain, um, this was actually the original testing grounds to Quantum Chrono Tachyon Torpedoes. The pre oh. precursors of Quantum Torpedoes. You said Chrono. Didn't you? You didn't accidentally. At that Quantum point. Chrono Tachyonic Torpedoes. We didn't just get hit by a torpedo through time, did we? Did we? What? Either that, or we either we just got hit with a torpedo through time, or we hit a dud. Is a time could... torpedo may have been involved. Oh, well, that's uh, something we could possibly ask the GM. Do we have any residue of chronotonic particles in the scarring? I mean, I imagine the entire ship has chronotonic particles, given we are, you know, here. This is, this is me. I'll do this. Well, I mean, like, specifically in the weapon scouring. Yes, specifically in the damage, yeah. Uh, reason, science. Um, oh, sorry, better way to phrase that. Does this does weapon scouring match quantum chrono tachyonic torpedoes? Um, lab, laboratory techniques? Yeah, uh, increased complication, I would. Oh, you'd give me increased complication for information extraction, too, wouldn't you? Yep. If you wanted to do it the other way, it'd be reason to try to compare weapon types. What about computer systems? I'll take comp uh, I'll take computers. Okay. Yeah, so, so that's what you sent me. Quantum Chrono Tachyonic Torpedo. That, that sounds like a whole lot. Um, have a momentum. Hey, look, I made it, guys! Good job! I'll get the ship for you. Oh my god, I'm really glad I didn't take the complication, because that would have been one. Yeah.
sometimes she rolls really well, other times not so much. Eh, rolling well enough. Oh, um, yes, it would uh, indeed see that the the runabout that we're currently in has been exposed to both chronoton and tachyon radiation. And, well, I don't see a random rock having tachyon radiation. So that's more or less the, uh, the collaborative evidence, I would say. We, we did get hit by a torpedo, yes. Which means those torpedoes could be our way home, but that'd be fun. Uh, by that, I mean horribly dangerous. Well, not necessarily. If we can get close enough and get our hands on the data for the chronotachyonic particles, we could maybe do it ourselves. Do we have enough juice in a ship are like you, this for that? And are you talking about infiltrating a Andorian secret military base? I mean, I mean, we do have an Andorian here. I mean, if no one else has got any better ideas. I, I have volunteered to wait in the ship for numerous reasons. Mm. The primary one being, I don't think an Andorian has seen a Cardassian before, and I'd rather not start that now. Uh, GM. Yeah. Is it possible to bring up the research data from this specific military out outfit? We might want to start moving the ship, because the Norwest is moving. Alright. Is the Vineland in trouble? Uh, for momentum, I'll answer that. Sure. <laughs> As I imagine Grennan's doing command code things, because that's what he does. Definitely none of us. Hmm. Wait, Grennan does things? I would assume he does command things. That is what he's wearing red for. I mean, even a Sal Sala can do command. Well, yes, but you typically don't have top secret access codes, or at least I would hope so. No, but she's also, Andorian. She can wear red. Uh, you could try to hack the system without the captain. Uh, the difficulty jumps to five, comp goes to five. And it becomes uh, reason I am going practical. to... I am spending a momentum law focus? At complication, I know where you're going, but uh could I'll just I'll just keep uh you know what I will I will take that comp. Because okay. I get a reroll roll. Could Asala assist helping with the Andorian aspect of this? Okay. Well just running him through the secu high security like it asks for like a biometric scan of his eye, a DNA sample, a verbal communication of his code. Like it is, it is. You actually have to tell others you can't be in the room while he's doing this because it won't. It'll register that someone's looking at something they're not supposed to. Oh, um. Okay. The Vineland is a derelict at the moment. There's no one alive on it. Well, that doesn't mean they're all dead on it. It just means that there's no life signs at the moment. Which is uh, interesting. A log entry is being opened to you. One moment, please. Thankfully, I don't have to type the whole thing out, because I already did this in advance. <laughs> I'd have well, to do a couple edits here, because something's changed. You know, on the bright side, we do... Oh no, we've changed the timeline. No. Oh. I was gonna say, we do know what Starfleet Protocol is when you find a ship with no crew in it, it's to search for the crew, and we're unfortunately inside the search pattern at the moment. Well, if that's the case, after this I'll start moving the ship. Uh, where are you maneuvering the ship to before I continue? Uh... Let me pop down a drink. Drink. Uh, 
shrinking and flying? How are responsible? Far side. So you're gonna impulse over to there? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm uh, actually a on coat. Actually, don't roll that yet, cause that it's actually way harder. Um, cause time's a factor, so I have to be careful where you're going. Yeah, impulse gets you to uh, long range. You can move up to three uh, zones, so you can move like one, one, two, three, or one, two, three as an impulse, or here. Okay, then yeah, I'll just do impulse to say here. Okay. So you can do the, uh, the roll's still the same, it's still just... It's diff one, because you're trying not to be noticed. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, helm control will definitely kick in, I'll spend the momentum. Yeah. This burns one of your power for the scene. Engines come. Okay. Do I want a fish? Yeah, screw it, I'll fish. Uh, reviewing this, just make sure it's accurate. Uh, is this from the, uh, what's it? Norwest? Is that who wrote this, this log? Yeah. Is it? Oh no, we got hit by a chrono torpedo. Sorry, quantum chrono tachyonic. Hang on. Yeah, keep trying to say that in the description. <laughs> <laughs> the Q QCT torpedo. The QT torpedo. The cutie torpedo. <laughs> the cutie torpedo. <laughs> I, you better believe that someone, the engineering corps, would have called it that. Yeah, <laughs> that's totally something engineers would do. <laughs> and when you and when you fire free in a bit of them, oh. it's a cutie pie. <laughs> uh, oh no! Oh, oh this uh. is uh, bad news. This is bad news, and I almost want to say worse news. Okay, then don't tell us. I mean, he might not be off. Okay. He's not going to tell us, actually. <laughs> so better not mm. say that. Mm. Okay. Well... If we are to do the, undertake this mission, um, Garal, uh, you're going to have to stay here. Uh, Ensign Shishishir, you're also going to have to stay behind. Okay. Any particular reason why the Andorian, Andorian doesn't go down to the Andorian base? No. 
by, from what I can understand here, the lead scientist of this facility is one Dr. Tex Shishishir. Okay, and? Uh, Sol, you would recognize that as a name of your grandfather. Of which he would have no idea what Sala looks like. Yeah, no, he doesn't know Sala exists yet, so... Yeah, but in the future, that would still become a problem. He's dead by now, right? It's not a by now thing, it's a when he sees his granddaughter looks like the person he saw at the time travel differently thing. Yeah, I think it's too late. It, and also, if you remember, also, one it's, random um, chick. it's it's also an issue of we don't want to grandfather paradox this, literally grandfather paradox this. Well, I I certainly hope you're not planning on killing him. Yeah. I mean, that, that doesn't matter if he's there or not if you kill him, honestly. Um, yeah. That's just No, bad. but if you interact with him, I mean, any interaction you have with him could have uh, irrevocable effects. Any action, any interaction any of us have with him could. Yeah, no, that that is a mute, moot point. Um... And said, I believe you were under orders not to have any sort of interaction with this kind of classified uh, uh, intelligence. What? What? Hmm. Wasn't that a. Th that was pinned. Head set up? No. He said she would prefer she didn't become an intelligence officer. That is different. Plus, That's Penn's probationary period has passed. By okay, this point. my my mistake. Huh? What Penn's has passed? Pro Penn's probationary period has passed by this point. It was a six month probation. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Never mind. My mistake. Never mind then. Well, I think you can be uh, impartial and careful while down there. I'm pretty sure I won't have a problem. It's whether I like it or not, I was trained by someone who could teach you to be impartial. She was very good at it. Hmm. Well, additionally, um, from my understanding of this place, um, okay, okay, so would the Norwest have put any personnel down at this base? Um, for a momentum, I will answer. Yeah. Hold on, I was about to give you incorrect information. Sorry. How dare that you? Would not have been helpful. I need to determine whether or not we'd be able to show up in uh, era appropriate uniforms and pass. Pass the class? Okay, there's Starfleet person. Oh, all right. We should hopefully be able to. Um... Do the replicators on the shuttle work? Yeah. Okay. 
probably look a thing. This is probably motion picture era, so we're probably gonna have to replicate ourselves the motion picture era uniforms. Uh, you're still you're just before the motion picture era uniform. Oh, we are. Yep, you're still oh, yeah, in the gold shirt era. Seven zero. Okay, yeah, so still gold shirt era. Nice. Then yeah, we're gonna have to replicate ourselves up some um, era appropriate uniform. Oh, have fun. Uh, for one opportunity, you can replicate uh, uniforms from the era. They were what? Yeah. Uh, I will. Sorry, I will God. note that sorry, skirts girls. were up. I will notice that skirt skirts were optional, but some people chose to. Just on um, TV, they happen to always do that, but you know. Exactly. Yeah, Grennan. Um, where is skirt? <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll all wear pants. She can wear the skirt. So people uh, change into era appropriate uniform? I don't think it. I mean, I should just on the. Yeah, I front. think. Oh, what I can tell you yeah, for. I think. Oh, I can't tell you that. Grennan will probably. Yeah, I think Grennan will probably put on, um, how oh, what's it, um, he'll probably change into Science's Blue. Okay. Because Command Gold would stand out. Uh, what rank are you replicating for yourself? Um... <laughs> Crewman. Hang on. Yeah, crewman. Alright. Oh I was joking, that gives you so many problems. Some random ass officer is gonna run yeah, up and tell I, you to do something. Should, and you're gonna have to do go, it. I should probably go with something like I should probably go with something like Ensign. Lieutenant, maybe. Yeah, Lieutenant. Yeah, Lieutenant works. Is anyone else changing into uniform? Yes, I'm just looking for one thing in particular. One second. Sure, sure. I'll also be doing it. Uh, what color are you wearing? Uh, security red. What rank? Ensign. Do you want a promotion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very Kino, though. Yeah. That, that absolutely seems like something she would do. Uh, yeah, so I'll go gold shirt. I'll go lieutenant. I'm going to change the last name to Chikano. Bless you. Gold. Mm. Disguising as a gold shirt. What rank, sorry? Uh, lieutenant. Lieutenant? And you're going to call yourself Chikanor. Is Grawl changing into uniform? I mean, it delays scrutiny by like 20 seconds, so I guess a blue shirt ensign. Just, I, I, yeah. If they want to ask me science questions, I can answer science questions. But to be fair, if I've been caught, I'm on the sh shuttle still, so we're running into problems there already. Insight command roll, difficulty one for all. Insight command? Oh. Yep. I have some information, but I can't give it to you for... Is it that this is an Andorian military facility and they don't wear Starfleet uniforms? I cannot answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, well, no. The, uh, I, I specifically found that there are 250 Starfleet personnel um, at okay, this do, base, so... Okay. Do I have an applicable focus here, uh, GM? Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't matter. I've got a command of one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Genius levels. Um, I'll give you a threat. Galaxy brain strats here. Galaxy brain strats. I paused! Wow, barely. That was an 11 out of 11. Wait, if that's the case, can I go into an Andor, uh, an Imperial... I, just I can tell you for free, The by this point, when Starfleet was founded, the Imperial Guard was uh, folded into Starfleet. Uh, any Imperial Guard would be ceremonial in nature. The only active unit is at uh, Andon's Landing. Oh, that's where I go. Because it's a ceremonial colonial era uh, col colony that they formed in the earliest of early days. Um, but with that rule, I can tell you, girl, that um, there are two things that would apply here. And this is from like the intake training they gave you in the event of temporal travel. Here are things you should consider. Um, you would, as an alien that was not yet encountered, you could simply lie about what your rate your species is or be on, or be honest and you're just the the one in a million species that happen to enter starfleet that's that lie gets a little tricky but if you wanted to hide even further you could just dress as a civilian you're just a traveler you just mm -hmm. are traveling with some starfleet officers so you just replicate clothes that look appropriate for the era and you're just a traveling spacer which sometimes starfleet would uh, as as ensign Grawl has learned sometimes starfleet takes in aliens to them with problems. Yeah, in a secret military base. Yeah, whatever. Depends on you. I'm just giving you options so you yeah. know what, oh. what, what, what what's coming up. <laughs> sure, let's go. Civilian clothes. Yay. Uh, do you want to look just like any old civilian or do you want to look like you want to look fancy? Uh, any old civilian. I should probably yeah. look somewhat appropriate to what I am, so that's at least comfortable. I was like, oh, our records don't really see. Yeah, well, tough. I was not going to say what I am, I was just going to say, eh, it doesn't matter to you. Well, that's a personal matter, don't ask. Uh, you have uh, you have all spent some time to change into uniforms. While that was happening, uh, the Norwest sent a shuttle over to the Vinland. Hmm. It is your turn. Can we uh, tap into any communications between an away team and the Norwest? You can certainly try. Can't we just read the Norwest's mission report? <laughs> Possibly. Uh, you We're from the future. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, for one step. momentum, you could read the next part of the log. Because there's a supplemental. Do we want to? Me. You made a noise. I can't tell if that was a yes or no. Of oh, spent. Okay. What I wanted. Ah, go back to the thing I want. So, uh, Grenin kind of does goes through the whole process and starts looking over the log as it slowly decrypts. It's almost like Starfleet Command is being very careful about who gets the information, even after all these years. That's only ever concerning.
Uh, double checking for accuracy. Yeah, that's a critical miss. Yeah. Starfleet command gets jumpy about information. It's like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Read it. Oh no. I don't like oh no. Wait, does that phrase destroyed? Okay. The thing I have to figure out where we currently are in this timeline of events. Uh, for a momentum, a threat in this case. Uh, for a threat, I can answer exactly how long that event occurs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, ignore that first one. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you can see why I was tracking time so. think in a few short minutes the Vineland and the Norwest are about to be attacked by Orion pirates. Okay. The freighter is going to be destroyed and the prototype will be lost. Whether or not it was stolen or not, I can't say. The prototype of? The torpedo. And the torpedo is where? On the Vineland. Oh. Which is set to be destroyed in, oh, just a few short minutes. Maybe we can make it disappear then. I don't think we can get close enough. Oh, we can get close enough. That, that's the easy part. The hard part is not being seen, and I actually think that might be impossible. Well, hmm. Right, that's exactly it. We can't get in close enough to do anything. Uh, I mean, uh, how, how? I don't know when this runabout model came into service. Hmm. Not contemporaneously. 
Yeah, um, not yet. I mean, you can run silently. I'll clarify for you, that's exactly what you're already doing. Precisely, yeah. so we can get closer yeah. and glide in. Uh, well, the thing is, once you're adjacent to a vessel active, uh, it's passive sensors. You're you're giving up way too much heat. You require cloaking technology to vanish from sensors. Right now, you're running on low power, so they can't see you without actively scanning for you. But if you're like right next to them, uh, you know they'd have they'd have to have no one at the sensor thing. Because if anything, navigation sensors will pick you up to go. Watch out! There's a ship there. <laughs> Don't run into. Or even if you're off, it's like watch out! There's debris there. Uh, I've got a quick two-part question, which may solve our problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, three part. One. Mind you, guys, I, I will say we only have four actions. Yeah, that's why I'm asking questions before we do actions. Do we have teleporters on board? Yes. Do we have, via the records of the ship's manifest, where the prototype was held? For two uh, momentum, you could have that advantage that they happen to record that. Well, two threat, but yeah. Two threat, Pete, you get what I mean. And would it also be possible for us to change our transpo transponder codes or I I I IFFs to Orion? Uh, it would take an action, but you could you could mimic what Orion pirates used in this era. Has anyone else figured out what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Probably getting shot at, but you know that's. <laughs> well, if we're on the trailing edge of any Orions, use them as cover, try and snag the torpedo. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I wasn't saying the Orions will shoot us. I'm saying the the Federation will shoot us. Yeah, I'm saying we yeah. hopefully use the hopefully we use the Orions as, as a shield. Yeah. Yeah. To cover to cover our. Uh are moving in. Yeah, so if that's the case, can we spend the two threats so we know where the location of said torpedoes? Yep, you look into some personal logs, which uh, indicate that they went to a certain area. They get cagey about it, but you piece together what they were talking about. Moving cargo to a certain location on a certain ship, and you compare star dates and go, oh, they must be talking about the prototype. Uh, spend an action to make our transponders into Orion. Uh, Kino? Uh, yep. Um, I mean, I could assist you, but I'm rolling an 11. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming that's security? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, do I have a focus? Damn it, I did it again. <laughs> oh no, that's a combat. <laughs> I have a security of 2, but that gives me a total of 12. Oh, that's better than me. If you want the help. Um, Do I technically count as a civilian, therefore she outranks me right now? Uh, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Not how that works. <laughs> um, it's clearly how that works. I just need to resign right now, and uh, I can assist everyone. No. Uh... Yeah, I don't think EOD specialists would work as a focus here, probably. Probably not. I ooh, oh, we don't have. I was gonna say I, uh, I could just give you a focus if we had momentum, but I can't. Hmm. I you will spend. spend. You can spend threat instead if you want. No, actually, let me read how this. No, it, it needs to be using science in the first place. I can't just. Oh, there you go. Use yeah. half of yeah. the collaboration just to give you a focus. Otherwise, that'd be amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Hmm. Whoops, that was not what I thought it was. It was a thought, though. Yeah, I, I don't have a focus here, so I'm going to use uh, 
three threat. Three third eye. I have a reroll. I'm rerolling one. And here's the ship. Hey. That's some momentum. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> Actually, uh, you're too big for a fighter. You would be smart enough. Oh no, fighter, you're a heavy. You're a heavy fighter because you're big enough to be one. You've changed your, uh, you've matched up with Ryan Parts and used in the era. Um. Yep. What is your next action? Maybe move to here so we can get close enough. So you're impulsing there? Yeah, because we don't want to go straight next to him and give ourselves away. Trigger the Orion ambush early, they're all like, wait. I'll spend a moment. This uses up one power. I'm just in the front trying to be useful. Power control. Oh, fish. Assisting. <laughs> uh, ship is engine. As you approach, uh, the shuttle returns back to the northwest. So that was diff one. We gain six. Can we spend two for the the shields to be down on the freighter? Uh, you don't need to spend it all, they'd be down anyway. Yes, this is a derelict freighter. What's going on? Can't we spend two for drive by <clears throat> beaming? Uh, for flying, I would have to say no. Spend two to restore power. Mm. Uh, I'll take. I'll, you. You'll. Uh, I'll. You can spend two to save power, being very cautious with the, how much power you're. you're That's one, two, so we've got two more actions, correct? Yeah. Maybe create, use an action to create a advantage for transporter lock? Um, you'd have to do it, you'd have to use a task roll to try to get a lock or start programming a lock in advance. Oh yeah, so I mean, like, if we use a task to... Because we know the general area of a ship, we just know when we get close... Beam here. Well... Hmm. Dude, it's a shuttle. It's shit. You say, as a... Trick, that's me rolling it. Oh, sorry. Um... You're basically scanning at long range to try to get to figure out to make sure it's precisely where you want it to be, and you're already getting the sensor half of the problem figured out. So, who wishes to try and take that if you want to? Um, this one's good. Oh. Control yeah, the science? Right Control the science. Oh, right. That is a me thing. Kind of. Yes. What are we doing exactly? Uh, basically, like, focusing in on the area we're going to be beaming from. Oh. 
so information extraction probably wouldn't work. Uh, at complication. Computer systems. Yep. Nope, 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 nope. Um, have a momentum. Okay. Oh, ooh. Maybe you have three of those, actually. <laughs> I just checked the difficulty and I was like, oh. Hey, see? That was a good choice by me. As you're doing your scan, Norwest comes about and is heading here. Ow. Uh, you can spend two momentum to try to evade away. Otherwise, it's going to see you. Uh, yeah, that seems fair. So this is basically like a, a very quick impulse. It's a very quick maneuver. You're, you're, you're trying to go. You're trying to use as little power to uh, slip away from it to go to either here or here, because you know, because you get the feeling it's going to go this way. So you want to move away from it. Uh, yeah, Cause... going going there will be enough. Uh, yeah, so I spent one helm control will probably kick in. Do you still want yep. my assistance? Uh, sure. This is te technically seven. her best role, or joint best, because daring is better than control. I have a daring of seven. Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This should be more helpful. The ship had the same roll as I did. <laughs> That's terrible. That's amazing. <laughs> Don't worry, very clearly a civilian girl. So uh, and you said we have one more action, correct? Yep. Yeah, uh, you notice that it basically went it went to uh, this whole time I'll I'll note to you that it was maneuvering very slowly. <laughs> And then when it did it, once it dropped off its payload, it went to impulse. So it's probably about to go like this. Uh, so you have one more action before the ambush occurs. I think we should just move next to it like swift task and beam. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we'll do to him. We'll move to the the freighter. Swift so task and beam. Over. You're impulsing over. I see control. Control, I'm much better at. <laughs> Why isn't the captain giving these orders? He's supervising. He's a lieutenant. <laughs> he demoted himself. See, I can help this time. I mean, we still have that bonus momentum. That's just high, I helped. So we gained five from that? Five and a bonus. We'll spend two to Swift, if that's okay. Okay. Does that mean one of us has to do the thing? You have to do the beam. Yes. Oh, I'm not an engineer. I can an engineer. Or sp spend two to keep? I don't know. Yeah, I think keep would be the more appropriate yeah. phrase. Yeah, and I've that's applicable. Someone acquire kind of the target. Go, Kino. Uh, I mean, we're not technically in combat turns, but let's like... take. Timing matters, though, so we're kind of using yeah. similar. Are you going to uh, use it as screen. swift or keep for difficulty purposes? Uh, it will be keep because a different person than the pilot is. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, use up one power to transport. Control plus engineering. Difficulty. It's not on a pad. It's going to a pad, technically. Um, 
reduced by one because you got an advanced lock on it. Uh, and it would be sensors plus engineering. All right. Um, spend uh, two. Yeah. Spend spend three momentum here. Right. And this is happening on the third action or the fourth action? Sorry. This is on the fourth. This is on the fourth. So as you're doing that, these guys are moving. So we gain three. Actually, so they go here. And then they start coming about. Uh, mine to raise shields. You raise. Uh, I so... I don't yep. know. I snow. Screw that. Not yet. We're currently as Orion's. Okay, don't raise shields. Uh, so I've just transported the thing, right? Yeah. Yep, you now have a big old torpedo, uh, funky looking torpedo sitting in the back where the beds are. Okay. Uh, given that I have the focus of EOD specialist, can I make sure it's not currently armed? It would take a task to do that. I like the mm -hmm. idea of not dying. Yeah. I'm going to spend two to swift. Act. Two if to swift die? It, it never did say how the uh, violence yeah. exploded. And if it turns out we just took out took the how onto our own ship. Exactly. That's what um, I was thinking. Yeah. I don't like the idea of now having oh, the uh, how. Sorry. Uh... Like Reason security difficulty two. three because you're swift tasking. All right. Um, I, because I imagine you're using the runabout sensors to help you with this. Mm -hmm. Wait, why did the Norwest move away? How long you've been gone? I've been gone for like five minutes. Oh, yeah. It took it. Uh, this is the fourth action as part of its fourth action. It and impulsed over that way. Like this is how they're moving away as you guys are. Uh, beaming the torpedo off because you basically yep. your your crew basically went zip impulsed and then kept initiative to beam and now someone's swifting to uh, examine the torpedo uh, two momentum and a threat for bold uh, focus of EOD specialist yep uh I'll get the one of those. Yeah, that's fair. We took weirdly appropriate crew for this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we generate one in there. So what are you trying to determine? I just want to make sure I'm answering you, answering the question you're asking. Uh, is the device armed? Will it go or is it, is it active, basically? Is it a threat? Yeah. I mean, yes, but, you know... We have live munitions on board. Repeat, we have live munitions on board. Oh. Can we, like, unlive them? I just swift-tasked. The turn passes, and history begins. Okay, sorry, I have to act in appropriate turns. So, uh, you are in combat as three Orion uh, cruisers uh, come flying out of some space debris. Uh, Two of which look like they're about to approach the, the Norwest. And one of which is looking like it's on a, it's about to engage an attack run of the Vinland. Yep, yeah, definitely not us, because we're Orions. Mm -hmm. Their weapons are armed, their torpedoes are hot, their shields are on. They this one's going to act first. And... 
you're right. It does not seem to be aiming at you. It is it is taking aim on the freighter. Which seems like they're going to come. Well, you know, I take that back. I take that. They move over to the freighter. I'm being across. <laughs> And they keep and they beam over to the location, the exact location where the torpedo was. And the turn uh, keeping the ship acts, it moves closer to the Norwest, it swifts. It opens fire. Uh, hold on. Where's the thing I'm looking for? Making sure I'm not cheating myself here. Oh, I was right. I was right the first time. Okay. Uh, the Norwest has gotten badly damaged. Oh, we're in fleet combat. Uh, for the purposes of the other NPCs, they are, but if you engage anyone, you will get into Starship combat. But I'm just speeding it up so we don't sit there firing back and forth forever. Yeah. Because there's a lot of ships, so no reason to do that. Um, that said, uh, the last act in this turn was, in fact... Uh... Kino, you're not out. I'm just marking who's gone. Mm-hmm. So someone else on the fighter can act. What do you say? I think we need to get out of here. Uh, just a really weird idea. I'm pretty sure, given they've steamed the exact location of the torpedo, that they might it might have indeed detonated, and that's what did it. So, yeah, uh, the weird idea could probably help with that. Yeah. Is it possible to separate the chronotachyonic materials by and beam back the torpedo? Like beam back just the explosive? <laughs> just beam back the quantum torpedo while we keep the chronotachyonic particles like in a containment. Uh, uh, there's a slow way, which I assume you're not going to do. Fast way would be basically beaming the payload into a container. Um, you need to spend at least one opportunity to have an appropriate container on hand. Sure. Uh, uh, daring plus engineering, obviously. Uh, engineering, that much I know. Uh, base difficulty is this. You're not beaming it to a pad. Uh, it is an unstable thing, so it goes to here. Um, I have no way to increase the difficulty, so that's what it is. And that will use up one of your power. Um, who's best for this? I would be. Uh, out of the people who's left. Yeah. Well, I can direct. I've got an 11. I have a... Oh, you could four. actually direct Kino to do that yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, so I'm saying, Just yeah, if we need Kino, Kino to do it, I can direct. Yeah. Uh, please. Yeah. Okie doke. Team Dynamics? Yes, actually. And as a note, I'll take EOD specialist for this. Actually, an yep. EOD people do. This well, actually, but you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. This really is a weirdly perfect combination for this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't hint at you at all what this was. 
We'll see what they yeah. send. You sound <laughs> Hopefully, it's kind useful. Of sarcastic. Uh, the guy didn't intend at all. You actually didn't, but you still sounded sarcastic. <laughs> it's the Canadian I'll... accent. Don't mind it. I'll spend uh, two and one here for four dice. This is up one power. <laughs> Generated a momentum. Uh, minor uh, action race shields. Well, all you've done is you've beamed off the pay you you've beamed off the warhead, the payload into a container. The torpedo's still here. Yeah. Oh. Like, this is a multi-stage process. Yeah. I mean, that was a good first stage. <laughs> mm -hmm. Swift Are you swifting, or... Lieutenant Grennan? I mean, Fleet Captain Grennan. <laughs> uh, uh, what would be the um? What would be the role to beam the thing back over if I were to swift task? Uh, it would be... Control. You'd minor over. That's not a big deal, because you're moving from the cockpit to the back. No big deal. Just uh, control engineering. engineering. Difficulty of uh, on a pad, going to not a pad. Complication increased because there's people in the way who don't know you're doing this. Uh, I mean, to be fair, they're supposed to die in this scenario anyway. Oh. Uh, and the difficulty up by one because you're swift, you'd be swifting. That would be the difficulty uh. that I'd be modifying it. I don't think I can pull that off. Yeah, I, I don't have the score for it. Your lack of faith is disturbing. <laughs> Wrong franchise, sorry. Uh, so you let the turn pass? Well, well, wait, we could we could spend to keep. I mean, could. yes, and do. I mean, yeah. you could you could swift task to direct again because you have the, the thing that lets you direct twice, and it's a, and it's been a new scene. Uh, yeah, I could do that. I have um, I have crisis. Uh, oh yeah, management. You could. Uh, the difficulty Manage would the increase crisis. by one anyway because it's a swift task on your uh, direct. Hilarious. I mean, yeah, but but it would but still be make, a better make that... total of rolls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would make it a Kino's role with your assist rather than you trying to. Yep, manage the crisis. Yeah, chief. okay, I'll do that again. Uh, yep. Comp range goes back down. Uh, comp's the same because there's people. Not... They're moving uh, around. Yeah. And they're Kino's like trying to beam it, like Kino's trying to beam it right there while they're kind of moving away from it, so it's obvious that they don't. Um, know. They and may... while we are, while we are. At it, mm -hmm. uh, spirit of discovery, three momentum on the board. Uh, that is a determination spin, I believe. Yep. To what? Trust in my crew. Thank you. <laughs> you trust us. That's disgusting. Yeah. All right. Um, we've been ridiculing you this entire time. Not character. Um. No focus here. I mean, maybe in uh, Okay, uh, that's spending good. spending three for to get up to four dice here. No focus and no reroll. There we go. Uh, here's the shuffle. <laughs> Do momentum. And you beam I'll it just it. as they. You kind of wait for them to kind of be walking away a little bit, like they're. Like, Where did it go? Maybe it's over here, and you kind of just beam it while their backs are turned. And like, mm -hmm. oh, there it is. How did we miss it? Just to say, now can we mine a ray shields? <laughs> yeah, actually, we could, um... There's that, but we could also spend to keep the turn to our side and just move away. And then away. move away? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Are you spending to keep? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's peace out. Who's next? Do things fast. Peace go fast, out. go fast. Uh, I think it would Probably, be the pilot. Uh, yeah. What is she doing? Uh, I'd be <laughs> going going away as quick as possible. Stupid. Now, now you could use your minor to raise shields, though. Oh, could that have been one threat and one momentum? Sure. 
I mean, for obvious reasons, I'm a cautious yeah, pilot. Yeah, yeah. Um, you are impulsing to off the map and away. Well, essentially, one, two, three. Yeah. yeah. Uses up one power. So say, isn't that a, a roll? Uh, no. Oh. It's a div zero roll that I'm not no. giving you. Because <laughs> yeah. at this point, any hope of being hidden by these guys is moot. They can stay, you're in close range. They could look out the window and see you. <laughs> yeah. Mind I mean, you, they're probably confused. Because, <laughs> but then again, Orion uh, pirate ships were kind of uh, mishmash, whatever, whatever you, you could yeah. get. So it doesn't it doesn't seem it's like eh, maybe someone stole an alien ship, whatever. Good for you. <laughs> Thanks for pitching in, I guess. Oh, looks cool, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, not green enough. I think they're gonna get to enjoy it that much longer. I'm not gonna be able to think about it too much longer. Uh the turn I believe you leave the turn there. Uh, I think we yeah. kinda have to. Yeah. Well we, <laughs> yeah, we although we can raise our he Weren't you going to minor to raise the shields? Uh, yeah, screw it. Minor raise the shields. All four of them. All four of them, yeah. That's <laughs> Y'all alert. Shields go up. Uh, I'll note that, uh, the other, sh uh, that at this distance, the Norwes is uh, aware of your presence. Because they see mm -hmm. a big energy surge. They may not see your silhouette quite yet, but they are aware that there is another ship there. I mean, because you can't hide them at shields. Yeah, to be fair, it's an Orion signature as well, and it's surrounded by Orion ships. Yeah, or it's retreating away from the area. It's, it's going this way. Because as far as they're aware, there was nothing. There was just these guys, because because uh, they went out of the field, and then we. <laughs> and it just you just yeah. kind of uh, you impulse here, and then you appear. It, the impulse like something's impulsing this way. It turned on its shields. I don't think science is going to waste their turn figuring out what that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A turn goes to uh, the third party. Uh, they will. Uh, they, The captain aboard performs an action. The ship is repaired. The ship then returns fire. They exchange fire, but no one takes it. Uh, heavy damage. Turn goes to the enemy Orions. So it moves forward, opens fire on the Norwest. The Norwest manages to damage the Orion vessel. Turn goes back to the uh, to the heavy fighter. Power. I mean, I'm yeah. not an engineer. Power. I can try. I'm very clearly a civilian. Um, <laughs> I'm very clearly a civilian. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? Control engineering to try and do power? Ah, Captain, I can't give you any more power. Whoopsie. I'm clearly I'm a civilian. Cardassian. The Scottish part of uh, the Cardassian. Scottish Cardassian. Don't have Scottish Cardassians. They could. I have actually nothing to help you with this other than a prayer and a dream. Okay. Daring or con? Cardassian control. I guess. Okay, uh, so that's an eleven. With no focus. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. If I had a focus, because it's, it's it's a one. Uh, well, I mean, do you want to do something else then? I don't know what else I could. You could start maybe working on, on trying to figure out how to use the... Oh, yes, uh, good point. I can do my job. Got. Yeah. <laughs> the how do we get home from this task? Yeah. It's probably going to be pretty hard. It's going to be an extended task, and it's going to be something I'm... Oh, no, good. Oh. Oh, oh this is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, good luck. luck. Five. Good. Yes, I have... No re well, I don't know. Mission directive might apply to the go back to your own time. Um, Temporal prime directive applies here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have no talent. Might be a good i. <laughs> might be a good idea 
to wait until the next round and then have me rally. Yeah, might be then. Uh. Hmm. Can I do preliminary theoretical research as an, <laughs> to create an advantage to make this easier or less complicated? <laughs> okay. That's better. I was like, eh. Computer systems focus? Yep. It's not a comp five. I am happier with this. Uh, let's throw a momentum at this. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, I made the momentum back. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm great at helping people with science. I'm not great at like leading it all the time. Mm -hmm. So, what is that advantage? Uh, you can apply that advantage for, for difficult. It applies to either difficulty or complication. I like downing the difficulty. I can survive a complication. Uh, <laughs> diff sounds like a good yeah. call. It'll be diff four comp five. I yeah. say with the confidence of someone used to rerolls who now has none, but hey. Uh huh. <laughs> New round. <laughs> Your ship was the last to act, so it does not act first. Uh, the second to last to go was the Orion, so they do not get to go. It is, in fact, the Norwest that starts the round. The Norwest, uh, the captain performs an action. The Norwest begins to do an attack run on this ship, and with precision firing, uh, aims specifically for their bridge. That's one way not to fuck around. So Norwest captain's kind of a chad. Yeah. I don't think Did it he matters. Just get absolutely annihilated by the. I don't know which ship went when. Norwest has to re-roll its dice because that's terrible. No. The Norwest unfortunately spent too much time trying to be precious with the shot and ends up getting damaged. Ginger Ryan's got a whole bunch of twos. Is what happens. Mm -hmm. Uh, this Orion ship takes its turn. Uh, I can't do that at this speed. Um, yeah, they did something. Uh, turn goes to you guys. Should I uh, rally? Probably. Okie doke. Uh, I am going to rally. I'm going to spend a momentum for a third die. Team Dynamics. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. <laughs> keep us... <clears throat> keep us to the back. Um, Ensign... Uh, just keep working at it. You've got this. Oh, me, Ensign, right? Yes, because there's two of us. Saying Ensign is very unhelpful. Points at you emphatically. <laughs> Clap on the shoulder. Clearly civilian. Winces slightly. Very clearly a civilian right now. <laughs> That's a lot of momentum. There you go. Five momentum on the board. Dude, no, no. Bad grin. No. <laughs> Are you keeping or swifting? <laughs> um, no. Uh, no. I think no. we should let them. Alright, turn goes to them. Uh, fortunately, the Norwest has already acted, so the ship acts. It attacks the Norwest. The Norwest is disabled. Turn goes to you. The Norwest is unable to act at this time. Oof. Uh, we gotta get going. We also need power. 
I can try to do power now. Yeah. Daring or control plus engineering difficulty of two. Got it. Um. Yeah, I don't want to focus here. Uh, I'll spend two momentum and a. I uh, click troll. Let's see if it goes through. There we go. Might another one might come through in a second. My internet connection just panicked. All right, that's well. I three see one hits. that got rolled three hits. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a momentum. Yep. So that's one power plus momentum. Uh, I think it's one power for the success. One right? power just for succeeding. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, for each additional momentum, it's an additional. power. All right. Uh, should we spend us up to four? Does that sound good, folks? Uh, maybe yeah. three. And next turn, I can get us out of here. All right. Yeah. Spending three. Your turn is over, I believe. Mhm. Mm yeah. yeah, that's my turn. Spending for threat. Oh, yay. Oh. Hang on. Uh oh. You are being hailed. Yeah. Its weapons are on, its shields are up. We don't stand a chance against a ship like that. Wait a second. Oh, no. Oh, I know who this is. On you? screen. No, I mean, that's the captain who says on screen or not. Really, that's his choice. On screen. I'm very clearly zipping back here. I don't have any input. It's Subkita. <laughs> So yeah. You put him on screen, you say. Huh? Uh, one well, one. we're going to be vo vo voice only. So audio only. Yeah, audio only. Okay, that, that matters. <laughs> I was like, you're literally breaching the... You're going to reveal who you are? I mean, you could. You're in uniform. That won't no, 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 no. Yeah, that just makes us look like a Starfleet intelligence off or something. Yeah, that's what I was like, Which oh, is okay. like, the Klingons are like, eh, we're killing you. We're accepting the hail, and we're responding with audio only. Yes. We're very clearly damaged, so, you know, those could be, that, that could be down. Yeah, exactly. This era, ship this small, probably doesn't even have video capability. <laughs> No sense, but you know. This is Hood Rosakita uh, yeah. of the Duck Chinaka. Lower your shields and surrender the weapon, or you will be destroyed. You are holding on to Klingon property. This is your only warning, Orions. <laughs> or should I say... Understood. Start. Hmm. Yeah. I've seen you sneaking I'm sorry. In, out in the star Great. system. I recognize that hull design. Do you think us fools? Hmm. I'd say <clears throat> a little yes, a little no. 
Clearly, uh, you know what? what Clearly, you know what you're doing, Hod Sukita. First time I've met members of your house, a very prestigious one, and I've seen that glaive of yours in action. Then you know to fight me is to die. Surrender, and I shall give you honorable combat so you may see your ancestors with honor. Hmm. Quite. <clears throat> Give us a moment to lower our shields. To which Grenon is going to give the signal to Garal to get us. <laughs> I don't know how to do the. Okay, I'm figuring it out. I guess. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm being rushed. I mean, would you prefer if I just did like a small warp jump away first? You can't warp. warp. We Actually, don't have man. warp. Warp. We don't have warp. Um. So, yes, I. It's a D4, comp 5. D4. D4. <laughs> Most, uh, if you're trying to get distance, you get impulse, which would move you three zones. You just head back to the other Orions and they're like, wait, why are you bringing the Klingons to us? <laughs> <laughs> that honestly might be the play unless they're working with the Klingons we don't know <clears throat> I think they are I think they are the, the logs suggest that because after they stole after they attacked uh, they, they made a beeline for Klingon space yeah. I think they were on the Klingons payroll I mean, yeah, Subgita likes working with aliens. Um, uh, eh, yeah, no, okay. I mean, weren't you going to determination fine. spend? Yeah, I think I'm going to mission directive determination spend. Temporal. Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> that, se that seems oddly applicable. Yeah, this, these guys got a, um, are getting way too much of a look at a runabout. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yeah, no, there's, there's none of my talents here. <laughs> do I do a full threat dump? Yeah, I think so. Uh, uh, well, one and one and three five. is that no, one and oh, wait. four. Yeah. Do we want to spend the momentum on that? Because I've got a lot of comp potential here. Yeah. Plus, it's case of yeah. if he succeeds, we're going to need something for your pilot. Yeah. So it's just going to be mm -hmm. five, five, five threat. Have fun. Okay. Or, or I'd rather you didn't have fun with it, to be honest. But here we are. Um, also, if you biff the roll, Grand might be able to generate and give you a um, determination three roll. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I can mile, I can milestone uh, captain spend. Never <laughs> mind. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> Holy shit! Bow, 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 bow. We made a lot of that actually. I only needed two successes, and I made another four. We've got five momentum. Look at that. Okay. Uh, yeet, I pressed the button and we're back home. Clearly, that's an advantage, right? <laughs> I don't know if it's that simple. <laughs> I would, it's not going to be that simple, but it would be you funny. You could keep the initiative so the pilot can activate the uh, impulse drive to impulse you through time, hopefully. Oh, yes. Press the button. Press the button. I would like oh, to fly oh, through time, please. It's probably Garal, like, <laughs> frantically in the back doing things like, okay, theoretically, this should work. That's the best you're getting. Well, it's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> theoretically, this should work. It's the best you're getting. Comp 5 to 5. <laughs> Mainly because you're doing this while spend. in combat and spend. you're rushing. I think, yeah, we're both rushing. Uh, well, she doesn't have a determination right now because she's already spent it. Captain? Uh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, give me a sec. Uh, I, 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 think, I think I'll want Check. that if I fail. Yeah. 
No, I know. I'm just looking through my values to see what I got. Uh, GM three and three. Roger. Ooh, I know ex exactly the thing for this. Oh shit! You I, need I'm it. making a pen roll, not on pen. It's a it's a task roll you five comp oh, five. Oh shit! I've got a reroll. Cool. That's four. Let me do the shit. So that's engine. Oh, come, the could come on. Is the come ship on, at comp ship. five? Yep. <laughs> Give me that reroll, Grenon. Need that determination. Uh, um, I'm. Can I spend the milestone ordered Makarov to push the engines? Oh hell, yep. Oh yeah. That okay, happened. It's just straight. It's Rerolling re two dice. Under Tempo Prime Directive, because no kidding. Mm -hmm. We hit it with a comp. Oh no. Comp is Come saving. on, man. Do I have to give you another one? Please. <laughs> Do you want to go should, back yeah. in time? <laughs> yeah, because this comp is so I'm, easy I'm to see. Working on it. Come on, Samurai Jack. I want to go back to the past. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm it would be hilarious if we end up further back in time, though. No, that wouldn't. It would. We're not supposed to be going backwards. Um, it would be hilarious, though. It's like, whoops, I plugged it in the wrong way. <laughs> the subgita sheep just briefly sees us go back. Uh, I know this like... is a bit of a stretch. I know this is a bit of a stretch, but um. Because it's a similar sort of thing where I this is a determinate this is a milestone I got because I gave someone a determination. It was one where I gave Penn a determination for that seminar he was doing. I have to say no. In terms of like, I don't know when I'm ever going to be able to spend that for talking. Gave Penn a determination. Helping Penn in particular. Penn, gave Penn a determination for transporters. You need yeah, something determination to do with piloting applies to or time travel. The determination does apply to just generally the episode, right? Yep. It has Not as long as something in that episode has something to do with uh, piloting yeah. in, uh, a piloting task that was particularly hard or time travel. Yeah, it's not specifically what you spent the determination on as in general. The episode. Though that helps. It does help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, I'm trying. I. I, I I haven't on anything else like that. Uh, nothing flying, nothing you can challenge them. a directive. Which one? Respect for sentient life. If you don't care what happens to that ship next to you, you could rip a massive hole right here. Mm. You could not give a crap about Ippolip. You could cause a big old hole to be right here where you're standing. That might be a bad idea. Could the complication be Isala getting a, an injury? Well, the problem is we fail if, if th that stands. No, huh? I've passed. Not only is there a complication, we No, no, we've it. passed. How? What? Diff 5, yeah, there's 5 successes. So far with the complication. Yeah. I'm just trying oh. to squash the comp. You oh, are not hey, paying attention to shit tonight. Um, yeah, no, I'm sure. Um, would I actually be able to spend my medal that squashes complication? No, because I have to be the one making the roll. Uh, yeah. I think we may have an unsquashable complication here. I mean, yeah. that's yeah. also just generally yeah, sorry. anything from when we were trying to do the whole going rogue through to... Narendra Station, how much evasive flying we had to do in those in all of those episodes. I didn't do any of that. Plus, he spent a lot of those over to, over the last uh, while, yeah. over the last couple seasons. Yeah, uh, I'm just trying to pull up things I know were related to yeah. evasive. Uh, GM, is Alice just going to eat it? Okay, she's going to eat it? Okay. Yep. There's nothing we can the do. The core just... roars to life. Everything begins to shake and shiver around you. 
and uh, you notice everything see- begins to glow a bright blue. One moment, please. Find the thing I'm looking for in a timely fashion. That awesome. There it is. We, we... Time for a weird sound effect. You find uh, as you are as the compartment is being flooded with uh, tachyon chronotons and being manipulated by the internal force field, so it doesn't just outright kill you. Um, you then engage the impulse drive. All of you start to feel a tingle in your extremities, uh, which gives way to numbness, and all of you begin to feel very, very nauseous. And you all seem to, you begin to have an inability to grasp onto things. And then everything around you explodes. Huh. New scene. Yeah, I think it was, I was just calling it a quit so that one. There's no way we can squash it, so yeah. fuck it. Yeah, sometimes it's just like, well, we don't have the resources. Reason plus science, difficulty two for the kismet as we cut back to the kismet in our current time. Sensors plus science. Cecil. All right. Please and thanking you. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it says sensors thing here, can I use observation again? Oh, uh, you can, yep. Yeah. It's also uh, just for one. Yep. Yeah. It says the Kismet does its thing of being a good ship. Alright, well, that, that's enough. <laughs> oh. Was it. Good question, GM. Was it grandfather or like great grandfather? You are a robot. How about now? Now. I can hear Any you. better? Yep. I can hear uh, you. Um, better. W- w- was was that uh, Grandpa Sukita or Great Grandpa Sukita? That was the father oh, of the current yeah. show. Yeah, Klingons live a long time. Yeah. yeah, cool. Their years are way longer than our years, for one. Uh, and he was a very Come old the... man when uh, the pl- uh, Bemoth disaster fell. Uh, Commander, I'm detecting four life signs at extreme range uh, in the edge of the Ippolum system, it seems. Uh, Bakali, jump us there. Let me open the sheet. Uh, brain. Uh, this will gobble four power. Okay. Uh, Valish Amner, stand by your transporter, chief. Um, can I spend her value? What value is that? I'll prove of a Klingon or Federation, I am the greatest. Sure. Or that's actually pretty Valish on and get down to the transporter room. Because you're the... She has transporters. Run. Go. Chew. Uh, so I got the Kismet? Oh, yes. Uh, engine con. Nope. We gained five. Yep. 
<laughs> he just fucking spaced us. Yeah. Sensors detect debris near the four life signs. Well, we never explicitly said we got out of our EVA suits. So. Uh, I said jump into close. Oh, That's wait, we true. Went... <laughs> no, we did. We, we got into the disguises. Yeah. Uh, four. Uh -oh. oh, sorry. Yeah, you jumped to close. So five power, six power, seven power. <laughs> Which was, ah, oh, that's life signs, and you sit in space, and I'm like, no. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> nah. we don't have time to start asking questions. That says stop reminding the GM. There you go. Hmm. You've warped okay. in close to the four life signs. Valashana, get a look, get them aboard. Uh, they might not even be ours as far as I'm concerned, but they're life signs in space, so... Uh, green on, do you wish to roll for Valashana? Direct to medical seems appropriate. Uh, dip increases by one because they're not going to a pad. Mm -hmm. Sensors makes it go down by one. It gets brought down by one because sensors. Very good. So, say so you rolling it, Grun? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, because Valashana is one that I came up with. No, it's just a case of uh, everyone else is rolling a character for this set, so. Yeah. Uh, how yep. many momentum you want me to spend? We have well, five. It's you who you're beaming up. Yeah, it, it's Grenon who dies if you don't, so, you know. <laughs> up to you. Mm. <laughs> you know, don't spend any. I'll take uh, the promotion. <laughs> uh, I will give one threat. Screw it. One threat. Um, five momentum. Yeah. I think you have a focus. She does have transporters. Uh, yes. Yeah, transporters. I'll take that, obviously. Alright, get to one. Stand by medical. Oh, you silly thing. God damn it, Adler. He's <laughs> not in there. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, we're small. It's a side effect of time travel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so standby medbay probably means EMH is doing his magical stuff. So feel free to pull the image into the room. Who do we have? You. In state the nature of the medical emergency. Oh dear. Oh yeah. no! Why were they all in space? You exist as a medical person. Who do we even have as medical? Uh, Serrera exists. Yeah. And Arix is Achilles. Serrera. Um, and uh, Zolon are the only people we have on Kismet. Oh, but I think we've spent all our crew support for the Kismet. I'm pretty sure those three that were on the, sh the shuttle didn't count as Kismet support. No, they counted toward DSE. Oh. Yeah. Because that was a oh, DSE okay. runabout you just you just dusted. Yeah, so we've spent three of five. So we have two. Yeah, okay. Uh, so uh, Zolon and this person. You see four people in EVA suits. They are not responsive at this time. Okay. Triage and check. Great. Uh, I'll grab the image, I guess. Let me edit the thing uh, for me keeping track of who's being activated. The image does not count. 
now. Yes, sir. And just hold on. Plus Valashana Ooh. and Kali as well. Time is a factor, so which one is acting? I'll mark who's acted. So it's like rounds. Uh, who wants to control what? Pen's be right back. Okay, I'll take Saru, and you right, can have I'll take Solon, the or the MH, MH, or whoever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you want to do EMH, Kren? Um, I, I could take EMH. Alright, you take EMH, I'll take Zolan on. Alright. Um. Reason medicine. Oh boy. Are we dealing with, like, temporal dysplasia or some bullshit? You have no idea. Oh, as far as these I... people are concerned, they just appeared in the middle of space, and they're in e Sir still has a to-be-decided value. <laughs> Ah, god damn it! I need to stop doing that, but also I can never figure anything out at the end of session for values. <laughs> I will yeah. fill one in for you. Yeah. Cool. I'm nice like that. <laughs> deep uh, scanner. Oh, she has the uh, deep scanner it's... trait. Does that seem appropriate for this? From Sir? Yes. yes. <laughs> Uh, would that make the difficulty easier? Uh, who do you want to go first? It uh, would make it easier. Yeah, given Sir has got deep scanner, I'd say Sir. Okay, go for it. With diagnosis as a focus. Yes. <laughs> Who's Reason TB medicine. Uh, TBD, am I feeling? Uh, Sir. Okay. Special, senior Chief Specialist Sir. Yeah, that's what SCS stands for. Haha. -ha. There you go. If there's a problem, we're going to solve it. Okay. Um, give you uh, a momentum. Yes, we do have momentum. Yeah, I'll give you a momentum. A momentum I. Woof. Okay, it's a diff two anyway, but there we go. Kismet. Uh, computers. Maybe cool. Okay. Still made a momentum off that. Okay. Draw that and figure out how I'm doing this. There we go. That's how that works. Haha. -ha. So we still have three. Uh, patients have been exposed to extreme acute tachyon chroniton radiation. If they are not treated within the next 15 minutes, they will die. She's relaying this. You know, medical jargon talk. Oh, she is she the senior? Oh, she's the senior medical person right now, huh? Um, because Olin's technically a different department. She's just she yeah. helps. You have three rounds. Hold okay, in. we've got three rounds, but we've got three people. This is the f oh, okay. Um, so we have two rounds of treatment, then. What are we looking at for treatment in terms of difficulty? Do we want to have you two go and try one each, and then that'll be the first round there? Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Because you could always just both try to work on one with assistance. And that we've still got two rounds to try and save the other three. It's a matter of balancing. Mm. This will be interesting. Yeah. Um, actually, I feel like Zolan here is only really going to be able to assist because she has a daring of seven. Yeah, okay. So her EMH lead, Zolan assist. Yeah. So I guess... Uh... Start with the captain. Yeah. They're all equally bad, so at that case it is by yeah. priority. I wish I had threat, but I don't. I had a way to complicate this, but I don't have it. So the EMH approaches uh, the captain, who is dressed in uh, TOS blues with lieutenant uh, scripts. Well, actually, it did just say chroniton tachyon radiation, so that kind of, you know, if we had any questions, we suddenly had them answered at the same time. 
Um, all right, uh, Brennan, I think you're leading this role here. The image, image. yeah, daring um, medicine. If three, it's daring medicine. If three, yeah, yep. As you are applying uh, emergency medicine. medicine, yes. Uh, how much? Uh, which? Uh. Suggestion on resource spend, guys. Again, it's it's grin and you're treating, so three momentum. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's the you fail, he's dying. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is kind of a you decision, but we put you <laughs> yeah. in the doctor's shoes. <laughs> Like it was Ifrix, I could see her treating Ifrix. Oh my god. EMH. God. Wow. Uh, what's the ship rolling for assistance, by the way? It isn't. Peter's Medicine. Oh, it isn't? No. Oh god. I can't do anything about that. Okay. Clinch assist. Um, you may clinch assist? Yeah, so. Clinch assist. Novel tr- trauma focus? As a focus, yeah. All right. Hey! Oh. Oh, yeah. that was clinch assist. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, round Watch. two. Right, so you two struggle with one. I'll handle one, maybe? Yeah. I've got triage as a focus. <laughs> Medical technology. <laughs> Oops. Um, question, GM. Yeah. She has prehensile tail, so if we were to all be over here, she could treat one and help with the other, question mark? She's got an extra arm, essentially? She, uh... You could, in theory, but you basically would have to spend for a swift task, and it would make their task harder, but you'd be okay. able to assist. So I don't know if you want to do that. Probably not, but it was a neat idea. Yeah. Prehensile tail's fun. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it, it's why I made a, um... I once made a what? What's the species again? A Dojin surgeon. They don't have three arms. Three hands tails. A Dojin? They have three arms. Oh, three arm. Okay, that's yeah. different. To, yeah, that's essentially the same as the prehensile tail talent we're talking about talent here. Um, I guess I Sarera Sarera's... will treat the okay. person closest to her because that just makes sense. And that's essentially I can just turn around and ha. Huh. Medical tech. Yep. As you're applying uh, or, yeah. various... Hmm? Or triage or xenobiology. I, or... I would take medical tech here for sure. Like that, that's the most applicable for what you're doing. Yep. Uh, deep scanner doesn't help anymore. No. You're, you're just treating as quickly as you can before they die. Oh, and I don't have... Anything. Uh, we'll give you three, because I'm not being assisted by anything, so it's better to be safe in this case. I, and made made a momentum off it for you guys. Okay. Uh, you've got the pretending ensign or the actual ensign. You've got options. <laughs> Who are you focusing on? And is one assisting the other like before? Uh, let's see, we're in round two. Yep. Yeah. Three rounds. Yeah, I think. Uh, Zolan will assist the EMH with whichever um, Probab- person is next. Probably the actual Ensign. Assuming you even know that Kino is not actually an Ensign. <laughs> yeah. uh, From the perspective Probably the um, Lieutenant. 
Well, uh, yeah, true. I'm gonna spend a momentum in two threat. Does the EMH have determination? No. 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 Worth an ask. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Hey. That was diff four. Yeah. We I mean, still hit it. It's diff three, isn't it? No, diff four. Wait, diff why four. did it go to diff Got four? raised. Oh. Uh, you're welcome. I gave him the momentum with that. Yeah. Yeah. Final round. Okay. You, uh, you hear alarms going off near Kino's bed as her organs are failing. Oh. Yeah. That's bad. Are, you, are other time, people assisting with this role, or is it just one person doing action? I think the EMH should assist. You can both assist, I think. You could, yeah. Can we? You're yeah, a hologram. Okay. You can get places. Difficulty goes up. Yeah. You know? Does Rear about... have, yeah. have determination? Yes. If there's a problem, I'm going to solve it. <laughs> And this is a problem. <laughs> so, momentum and threat? <laughs> does that work, GM? It does, yes. <laughs> What's that little icon you put next to this value, by the way? Hmm. Oh, that's just indicating I added it. Okay. You can um, get rid of it. I'm just letting you know that I, I was the one who did it. We don't have momentum on the table, uh, we, we do, I've just spent it. Oh, okay, yes. yes. Cause cautious, yes. Need it. Good. Oh, a die has been bought, basically, for one and one. Thank you. Do you wish to buy more dice? Um... Preferably, yeah, I'll give you the, the, the rest to get me the four in total. Increasing complication? I don't know by how much, hold on. That's fine. Uh, so this you spent fine. two, you're giving me three more to get that extra die. Yeah. So complication goes up by one and two. Difficulty of three. I would have, three. yeah. You would have had to have four, yeah. Comp three? Yep. Nice. Oh, well. This can't go horribly wrong, can it? Oh, wow. No, it can't. Huh. <laughs> Someone's on fire point. tonight. What the hell? <laughs> Wow. Zolan's on fire. Yeah, Zolan's like, no, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> stop making me come and do medical stuff. I know how to, but stop making That's me do two, it. That's two, four, six, six, eight, nine successes. Huh. The weird part is I could re-roll and get a complication if you feel like it. Don't do that. No. <laughs> Yeet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So there's six, ten, seven, ten, eight, 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 nine, ten. Ten successes. Yeah, you wow. Could've, could've huh. gotten a complication, because then you could have immediately squashed it. Yeah. yeah. That, that's kind of part of the reason I did it. Is it's not as threatening when we've got that much momentum available. Mm -hmm. um, new new scene. I was going to... Yeah. I think they're probably spreading out by now if they've actually saved everyone. Or is Varder just arriving at the right moment? You're arriving at just the right moment. Ah, lovely. As you, you were probably briefed that things were getting pretty dire down there, and uh, yeah. you notice they're spreading out a bit. You see everyone kind of waking up as everyone's being, everyone's been injected. Granny, you've already been jabbed, so you're kind of waking up. Yeah, and he's probably been giving the salvage orders because th there's wreckage there, and as much as we could ask these people questions, having wreckage to an analyze is nice. Also, leaving random shit around is not, um, not good. Nope. It's littering. Yeah, and an navigational also, hazard. Yeah. And we're on the border <laughs> of Fed or close to the border of Federation space. Yep. So some random dinky low tech people finding Federation wreckage would not be the best. <laughs> At the very that least, you like, you know, push all the non dangerous stuff into a star or something. Mm hmm. So you walk into the med bay, you see everyone being treated, great waking up. They're all dressed strangely. Strange By this point, the Eva suits have been removed because that was getting... It would, yeah, those would get in the way. Mm -hmm. Tino's body armor has been removed too, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. 
and her baton. She has one of those all the time. Uh, probably <laughs> looks at Grennan's collar for a second. Notices uh, nothing there because he knows he's not even on the uh, arms. Oh, they're on the there. arms instead. Yeah. No, like, the, huh. the donation of um, rank is uh, around the, the arms. Yeah, so it's probably looking at the collar being like, what? Oh, right. <laughs> well, um, Lieutenant, how are you feeling? Oh, yeah. I suppose you outrank me now, don't you, Lieutenant Commander? Yeah, that happens sometimes. Well, do, do I... Can... Do, the question is, can I ask what happened? You can. Uh, I'm going to be submitting a full report on the matter. Of course, uh, bottom line is time travel. We spent a few hours in... Uh, we spent a few hours in uh, 2370. <laughs> Great. That, was um, that sounds like a whole story. I. It's also one of the things that the less I ask you about, the better for me. Well, you're going to want to hear about this. The, or, sorry, 2270. Yeah. Oh. Um... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to stay out of temporal investigations what? again. Uh, this is something you should isn't say here a temporal investigation. Oh, okay, never mind. Everything time travel, temporal, travel, temporal investigations. investigations. This is a Starfleet intelligence matter. Okay. Um, that being I had to said. I had to. There's I had to crack open some records in order to figure out what was going on and well, a couple things you should be made aware of, but oh, my head and yeah, you can see that there's this nice seam where it looks like his um, a, a terrible head wound was like hastily uh, hastily uh, surgeoned back together And has it been properly treated with like a dermal regenerator? And they probably did that as an afterthought while saving you from radiation. That sounds like the EMH. It's just fussing over that when there's more important matters. That does sound very EMH. Mm. I'm right here. Yeah, that's what he did during that first roll. Yeah. Um, Where he rolled three zeros and a one. Yeah, the three zeros with dermal regeneration. Um. Well, head wound aside, there's various people here who do not need to know intelligence matters. And yeah. I really yeah. do hate making people sign the whole non-disclosure agreement things, or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Grennan sort of lays back in the bed a little. I'll, I'll tell you all about it when I'm discharged. Oh. oh you can leave right now. Uh, uh, what's that phrase? Uh... Captain, um, no rest for the wicked. Huh? Yeah. Besides, I was no. about to have to explain to Admiral Nea that the fleet captain's shuttle vanished in an explosion. I was not looking yeah. forward to that conversation. Yeah, uh, just give me a few minutes to change. Uh, Grennan stands up, looks at the outfit he's wearing. I'm gonna say... I do like the uniform. Science blue. I'm just the style. Right. I don't like being a target. Right. That's a lot right. more targety than this. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna go get changed. Uh, I will be uh, and he looks then. He looks getting three. Uh, you three rest up. I think they're still unconscious. You've earned it.
Alright, well, I'll be on the bridge when you come up. Uh, we'll hit to your radio room, sir. Very good. And Smith. I, um, yep. Well, if I'm on the bridge, it's my prerogative. We're at resuming course as soon as the salvage is done, which I don't know how long that would take. I imagine there's not much left to salvage. And with that, that is the end of part one of Power Play.